Good morning and welcome to the ACC Men's Under-19 Asia Cup 2023. The 10th edition featuring as many as 8 teams all sets to take centre stage at the ICC Academy with two matches being played simultaneously across the two venues at the ICC Academy. India has dominated this tournament ever since its inception, winning eight out of the nine times. And they'll be up against a very fine, talented side in Afghanistan, who were the champions in 2017. We are coming to you live from the ICC Cricket Academy Oval 1 ground. Match number one in Pool A is going to be India versus Afghanistan. There's so much to play for. And one can safely say that we are in for a cracker of a series and a tournament in the coming week as uh, two very talented sides will take center stage at this venue. You're all set for match number one and just the right time to head across to the center as well. Suhas Vedam with both the captains for the all-important toss. It's toss time at the ICC Academy Oval 1 and we're all in readiness with the two captains who've already arrived in the middle. Afghanistan under-19 are taking on the India under-19. The captain of India under-19 first up, Uday Pratap Saharan. Alongside him is Nasir Khan, the captain of Afghanistan under-19. And to oversee the toss, we have Mr. Ahmed Akhtar, the ICC match official. The coin will go up now. Tails is the call. And heads it is... Oh, they, what have you decided to do and why? Bowling first. Yeah, we are bowling first. Any specific reason behind bowling first on this track especially? Actually, I think there's some moisture in it uh, because this is a fresh wicket. So, yeah, we decided to bowl first. Preparing in Vijaywada and beyond for this tournament, how's the preparation been first up? Have you jailed together? Actually, it was fantastically well. Uh, all the players are in a good form and they are performing well, so yes. We have performed well and we are here to, you know. Do you have a number? Do you have a number in mind to restrict the opposition to? <laughs> no, no, no. We are just uh, going with the flow, so yeah. Have a good one, Uday. Thank you, thank you. Nasir, what would you have done had you won the toss? Actually, we will bowl first too. Now that you go to bat first, do you have a number at least that uh, you want to put on the board? Yeah, exactly. The wicket is good. Uh, we try. Uh, to uh, have a good total in this wicket. And looking forward, cricket is an unpredictable game. In, we try our best. You're keeping your cards close to your chest. But as far as the preparation for this tournament is concerned, a very important tournament for you as well. Must have derived a lot of confidence with the campaign of Afghanistan itself in the World Cup too? Yeah, as you know, Afghanistan uh, is a world-class uh, spinners, uh, everyone now. And also this time, we have a quality pass bowlers and we prepare over the last... Uh, um, eight nine months, uh, we have we have a good preparation for this Asia Cup and also World Cup. Have a fantastic start, Nasir. Thank you. Good. So the news from the centre: India under 19 have won the toss and they've decided to bowl first. Uh, perfect conditions to play cricket. India winning the toss, deciding to bowl first. We'll take a look at their playing eleven. Also Afghanistan: Adar Singh, Arshin Kulkarni, Rudra Patel. Uday Pratap Saharan, the captain, trusts his bowlers and believes that they can restrict the opposition. Mushir Khan plays in Mumbai, Sachin Das. Avinash Arveli, he'll don the gloves. Abhishek Murugan, Swami Pandey, Raj Limbani and Naman Tiwari. Over to Afghanistan, Wafiullah Tarakhil, Jamshid Zardran, Akram Mohamed Zai, Sohail Khan, Zurmatai, Rahimullah Zurmati, Numan Shah Aga, Mohamed Yunus, Nasir Khan, the captain at the toss. Man of few words, I'm sure he'll want his batters to perform. Wahidullah Zadwan, Bashir Ahmed Afghan and Khalil Ahmed. This is the team that won the 2017 Asia Cup. And they'll be up against defending champions India who have made winning a habit in this tournament as they've gone on to win eight or the nine times this tournament has been played since its inception. I'm Mikhail Vaswani and just the right time to introduce my co-commentator, Mudassar Ali as well. Mudassar, what a start. And a great opportunity for the boys who will just about find themselves at crossroads to make it to the next level as well with a very good showing over here. A very good morning, Mikhail, and good morning to all of our viewers. A big opportunity to all these youngsters and to perform well and to progress in their careers. And the news from the centre is that India winning the toss and opting to bowl for a good and wise decision. Oh yes, uh, it remains to be seen how much can the bowlers capitalize and respond to the captain's call. That's the Indian dugout just about getting ready. The men in blue, like we famously call them, 
Great outing. Quite a few talented cricketers who've come through the ranks as everyone does. And that's why it'll be a very anticipated clash to watch the under-19s in action. Remember, eight teams are playing just as we speak simultaneously at an adjacent venue as well. There's another match being played between Pakistan and Nepal. That will also garner a lot of attention. Both these teams have a huge following. But right here, all the spotlight will be on the men in blue. That's the Indian team, under-19 boys up against Afghanistan, who are no pushovers today in world cricket. And for the way the senior team went on to play their cricket this time in the 2023 ODI World Cup, certainly they've given a glimpse of what the future holds. And as we talk about the future, Mudassir, they're right in front of us in the frame over here. Absolutely. And we have seen the visible progress of Afghanistan team. And talking about India, the youngsters led by Saharan. And they'll be looking to go with full attack against Afghanistan and talking about the behavior of the surface. As we all know in the Oval 1 in ICC Cricket Academy, it will be helpful for initially for the fast bowlers. So the early movement will be there for the fast bowlers and Indian Pacers would like to get some early wickets. Well, this is the ACC Men's Under-19 Asia Cup 2023. The batters are all set to make their way to the middle. Excitement in the dugout. And what an opportunity for Afghanistan, the young boys, under 19, the teenagers, to just about raise their hand and uh, make some noise. The two empires making their way to the middle, Ghazi Sohail and Rashid Riaz. They will be the custodians in the middle. And the TV empire for this game will be Ravindra Vimala Siri. What an outing, what an occasion, what an opportunity. So much to play for day one here in the ACC Men's Under-19 Asia Cup. And all eyes will be on this performance. Remember, it's a 50-over format. It's the one day that we're talking about. So this will really test the skill, the adaptability, the ability of the players, the patience, the character, the resolve. And this is where the transition from boys to men happen, Mudassir. Oh, absolutely. And this is the first platform and a big platform for both these teams, players. And they'll be looking out to latch onto this opportunity. And the men in blue roaring to go. They'll be up against Afghanistan. So far we have nine editions, India team winning eight and Afghanistan defeating Pakistan in that final of 2017. Oh yes, and uh, they are a spirited side, passionate about their sport, putting in the hard yards. I'm sure these morning conditions will certainly test them. Mother, sir, we can feel a nip in the air, a gale of breeze blowing across the ground. I'm sure the Indian seamers will fancy their chances first up. Captain would want to believe it's a good toss to win. And the Afghan batters will certainly be put to test early in the morning. Oh, absolutely. And a slight wind blowing across the ground and a little bit of grass has been left by the curator. And it might help the fast ball. But as the day progresses, the batters will enjoy batting out on the surface. Oh, yes. Uh, certainly there should be runs on this surface. And if the batters can apply themselves, just about believe in the ideology of crease occupation, and just about put a price on their wicket, they can set themselves up for a big and a long score. But India, let me tell you, have come in as contenders simply because for the way they've played in this tournament, the Under-19 Asia Cup. This is the 10th edition, Mudassar. Nine done. India has won eight. You can look, take a look at that win percentage. Clearly shows the basics and the grassroots level of Indian Under-19 team have been terrific and the boys also getting an opportunity and they'll be eyeing for yet another win here to start the proceedings with the bat for Afghanistan is Jamshid Zadran the left hand batter oh yes and giving him company will be Wafiullah Tarakil the right handed batter left and right combination up front this will be a very good contest between bat and ball both these teams exhibiting unflinching optimism and they have their role models in place as well when it comes to the senior cricketers Naman Tiwari, left arm fast watch out for him he'll want to get that ball to move both ways inside out we are all set for match number one ball number one we are coming to you live from the ICC Cricket Academy oval one ground here in UAE it's day one of the ACC Men's Under-19 Asia Cup. Just about getting confirmation to begin proceedings. 
and once the umpire calls play we'll be all set for a great contest two young openers of afghanistan will be up against naman tiwari won't be easy for these two batters as there will be initial movement in the air for the fast bowler and naman tiwari will be looking to take full advantage with the new ball so play on says the on field empire and in comes naman tiwari with the first delivery of the day and immediately just about gets that ball to rise that's a good surprise delivery generating pace and bounce fielders chirping around the bat a good start and you need those that kind of intensity ball number 1 bang in shot let it go straight into the hands of wicket keeper good to see an attacking field plenty of coverage on the offside and two men position is first slip and second slip Uh, attacking field uh, quite rightly mudas two slips in place that covers mid on mid off point square leg as well and two fielders in the deep that's third and fine first runs on the board for afghanistan courtesy a wide down leg side oh. naman may just have to keep in mind that line and length But it's too early right now. He's trying to generate some extra pace and losing the shape. The first run on board for Afghanistan. Mudda sir, you call that the exuberance of youth, the extra bit of energy that you usually have. What an occasion for the youngsters. Worked hard to get this far, and they'll want to make it count as well. there again extracting bounds back of the length you could see the bat turning in the hand as well big moment a proud moment for the players and their families very watchful the left hand batter of afghanistan jamshed negotiated well they have that hunger to perform well and to make a name for themselves interesting you have two slips in place and so far naman has begun with three short deliveries i just feel this is some kind of a setup as well and maybe there'll be one delivery that may just draw the batter forward induce him into the drive let's see if he gets those two slips into action that's the delivery we are talking about just about prodding outside off very close to the edge wonderful delivery brilliant piece of fast bowling display here from naman tiwari uh, luckily no edge straight into the hands of wicket keeper so now getting into his rhythm naman tiwari the longer format you need to be very calm and composed as a batter oh yes 50 overs you just need to keep batting and keep planning and keep growing as a batter i like the start so far by india winning the toss bowling first naman has been on target not much a movement so far mudassar if you can if you could have bowled a bit upish or fuller then he can create a chance but as of now sticking to that back of length line and length here naman tiwari early days in this tournament a fast bowler just trying to understand the surface and the conditions here so far no runs with the bat there again just about climbing on the batter looks an even surface looks a hard surface a good to see a young fast bowler like naman tiwari hitting the deck hard not giving much room time some extra pace and awkward bounce coming sharply into the left hand batter 
Looking for the first run with the blade is Jamshed. Well, just talking about Naman Tiwari, he's been amongst wickets in recent games. In the last four games, he's accounted for 12 wickets at a very good economy as well. So he's been in form and he's bowling with good rhythm and momentum. Played a match against Bangladesh under 19. Another wide. So runs coming in extras at the moment. Just coming back to Naman Tiwari's performance. 5 for 33 for him against Bangladesh under 19. 2 for 36 as well against England under 19. This one just about. Hitting the batter. An uncomfortable position and that's why he was wincing in pain a bit. But Jamshed will have to gather all his concentration for this particular outing. Fuller. So two runs coming on the first over. Curtsy two wides. After over number one, it's two for no loss. Playing 11 of both the sides, Naman Tiwari began proceedings. Avinish, Avinish Araveli, the wicket keeper. There's a lot of batting, good utility players as well in the playing 11 for India. Wafiul Latarakil and Jamshed Zadran opening the proceedings for Afghanistan with the bat. Right arm medium fast bowler. Bowling the second over from the far end. Fuller down the leg side. That should go down fine for the first boundary. And that will be extras as well. So five runs coming. India have just been a little wayward this morning. And Afghanistan have obliged. The bowlers are helping here. Afghanistan moves to seven. A poor start. A wavered delivery down the leg. No chance for the wicket keeper. So three runs and five extra runs. Encouraging sign for the bowler is that the ball is moving late. But if he gets it in the right area, only then can he manage to create opportunities. Of course, first delivery, you can always term that as a loser. The Swan trying to play across the line. Gave that a wild swing. Getting an inside edge. Two slips in place for Raj as well. Vafiul a bit frustrated. He wanted to go big. Pulled on a better line. Just coming into the right hand bat. There again, getting an inside edge. That ball came in sharply. They're running the first run fast. And they'll get a comfortable couple of runs there. First runs of the bat. And this one coming from Wafiullah. Off the mark, but not in a convincing way. Forcing to play across the line. And thick inside edge. A couple of runs on offer. Looking for the first breakthrough is Indian fast bowler Raj. Yeah, he settled into a good line after that first delivery that went down leg for a four. Two slips in place. This time he's picked it up. And he's played that over and be down. Couple of runs. So Wafiula is just about making his intentions clear. A slight sense of urgency from the batter Wafiula. Wanted to go big. But luckily, away from that short mid wicket fielder. Just a tad too full on this occasion, Raj. The batters will fancy their chances to anything that's very close or into their zone. You've got to get those two slips 
active as a bowler. Late swing, but that's been given wide again. So India has conceded quite a few extras in the first two overs, India under 19. And there is slight movement still in the air. They can bowl it the right channel. They can create a chance here. There will be movement in the air for next seven or eight overs, but after that, it will be a batting paradise here, oval one. Short and wide. I reckon this will be another wide. Yes, it is. Just not been able to settle into a line at the moment, Raj Limbani. He's already conceded 11 in the first three deliveries. As you rightly mentioned, the first eight overs may keep the bowlers interested there again. We'll take a look at that delivery. And that's where the batters also need to assess conditions quickly and adapt and just about tell them, let's give ourselves half an hour and then it's going to be the next two hours for us. Uh, indeed, and they need to spend some quality time. need to be very calm and composed. There again gets an inside edge straight to the field at backward square leg. Still not comfortable out there in the middle of a few la. The good news for Afghanistan, still 10 wickets in hand. They have got the start, thanks to the bowlers for providing some extra runs. Oh yes, Mudassar, they've, had to, they've scored runs without much fuss, to be very honest. It's all come very easy. Not that they've not applied themselves. But you've got to ask questions, especially in the morning conditions when you win the toss and decide to bowl first. The India under-19 bowlers have just spread the ball on both sides of the wicket, helping the Afghan batters to settle in. Much better this time. A good comeback and good captaincy, I would say. The bowler not only the right channel, so opting for just a slip. The first slip in action, he has removed the second slip into a close catching gully position. The runs are coming. For Afghanistan and ideally that shot mid on mid wicket region will be very very important fuller this time not quite getting to the pitch of the ball Wafiola going for that expansive drive 11 run coming off Raj's first over two gone is 13 for no loss There again, down the leg. The Indian Pacers have had a very ordinary morning. Not the best of starts for them. The struggle continues for the fast bowlers here in Oval 1. Not able to get right line and length. The mother said the question is, how much of control are they able to have on that new ball? Because it's not quite windy over here, firstly. Conditions are fairly decent for batting. Are they putting that extra bit of effort that's resulting in something that's not going their way? And this is why they need to keep things simple. Worked away towards uh, third and Jamshed is off the mark with a single down third. Yeah, the fast bowler trying to generate that extra pace but I reckon the problem is with his wrist. The angle which is bowling. Moreover, it was just going away from the right hander for the left hander towards the left side. It took some time for Jamshed to get off the mark. So 15 on board. Still no boundary for Afghanistan with the bat. But they've been helped with deliveries that have not really bothered them or asked too many questions. Two slips for Naman. Captain Odessa Haran 
continuing. And that's the best way forward. You've got to attack. You've got to hunt for wickets. Much better this time. Watchful. Tentative. Wafiullah. Showing some respect to Naman Tiwari. Much better delivery this time. Not offering much room and width. Wafiullah Tarakil. Just 16 years of age. Uh, highest of 92. In list A games. And he scored his runs uh, at a strike rate of 140 plus. He's a batter who likes to dominate in the middle. Just the 150 for him in his four innings. Early days in his career. This will be a test. Now just getting that rhythm here. Bowling at the right area. And let it go. He has been very watchful. Wafiullah. Very talented top order batter for Afghanistan and he knows the importance of his wicket Afghanistan 15 for no loss into the third Wafiullah Four and eight. Look at those extras. Ten already. Oh, that is a lovely delivery. Acknowledged by the batter as well. You've got to smell the ball, says Naman Tiwari, as it passes by you. Good to see youngster. Hitting the deck hard and look at that bumper. But full marks should be given to the batter as well. He has been very watchful. Not trying out too many things. So good battle between bat and ball. Yes, but India, under 19, have been on the shorter side this morning. They haven't really got the batter to play forward. Most of the times, they've been in their crease, allowing the ball to go, just playing it back of the length. And this is where I feel, in the first four, three overs, India, under 19, may have lost a trick. Just over point. That was almost carrying, but what an effort in the field. There again, he has that to double up. We'll have to just get a confirmation. But that was Raj Limbani who just bowled his first over. Does well to cover it, but what a ball. We'll be going upstairs to check that boundary. Nicely bowled and equally well played. Just clearing that point fielder. And look at that effort coming from the deep fielder. Clean save. Now, it will be interesting to see whether is there a contact of his body when he's touching the ball. I'll, t I'll tell you what, this effort is going to tease the empire as well. Full marks for the execution, for the effort. And I feel he's done well. Raj Limbani. That was a slower delivery. The batter played early. Just so waiting for confirmation on that particular shot that was played by Wafiullah. Slower, fuller, just played a little too early, just above the fielder at backward point. Mm. Just about ricochets on the attempt while blocking it and then was just about to trickle down. That's been given as runs. Single down third. So with that single, over number three comes to an end. Afghanistan 18 for no loss. Naman has been tidy, 
Raj in his first over, a little wayward. That extras will be hurting India under 19 at the moment. And I'm sure they'll be eager to just pull things back and get the momentum on their side. 18 for no loss, Afghanistan. This after they were put into bat earlier in the day. Indian under 19 captain Uday Pratap Saharan win the toss and choosing to bowl first. Wafiullah and Jamshed are just about stitching a vital partnership up front on top. Two slips in place for Raj. That's driven. And that will go for a boundary. Signs of aggression here. And it's working for Afghanistan. Top shot from Wafiullah getting the first boundary of his innings. Slight error. A bit fuller. And there you go. Oh yes, they're not missing out on scoring opportunities. Anything in their arc, anything in their zone and they're going to flash their bats. And that's how Wafiullah has played his cricket. A very attacking batter. Beautiful. Look at the placement. Look at the timing. Presenting the full face of the bat. Wafiullah is exuding great amount of conviction in the shots in the middle. Back-to-back so -back boundaries for Wafiullah. This time going down the ground. No chance for the mid-off fielder. Excellent timing and placement. And it wasn't that full, Mudassar. He played on the up. But what I liked about it was that he played through the line. Brilliant batting by Wafiullah. He's moved to 15 of 13. Afghanistan finding a move on. This time though, he's been castled. He gets his man. Raj celebrates. India draw first blood. And Wafiullah, who was looking so good, has to make his way back to the dugout. An ordinary shot just got carried away Wafiullah after getting those back-to-back -back boundaries. Wanted to go big. But a better line and strikes Raj for the first time. The first wicket going down for Afghanistan. Wafiullah, who was looking dangerous. Needs to walk back after making 15 or 14 balls with the help of two fours. Afghanistan 26 for the loss of one. Oh yes, rightly said. Ordinary shot after playing such a wonderful cover drive on the up. He's undone all of that. With a very poor shot playing across the line. Raj Limbani just about manages to help his confidence by disturbing the stumps. Afghanistan lose their first wicket in the fourth over. Kurtzi Wafiullah, 26 for one. Soil Khan Zurmatai, number three for Afghanistan, walks in at a time where the team is saying, let's build a partnership. India riding on a sea of confidence, a wicket in the fourth. And they'll want to add a few more to their kitty. An excellent over and what I like about that wicket from Raj is that after going for a couple of boundaries, he did not try too many things. As a fast bowler, if you hit for a couple of boundaries, you'll try to bowl that short pitch delivery. But good to see Raj sticking to that basics, bowling wicket to wicket and has been rewarded with the wicket of Wafiullah. The new man, Sohail. Wrapped on the pads, fielders, wicket keeper, bowler go up half-heartedly. And the Empire quite certain that was going down leg. You've got to be ambitious as a bowler when you're bowling that, that well. Charged up after getting that wicket off of Wafiullah. This was the one, a wild swing. Misses the line completely. And a good wicket for Raj. I'll tell you what, Wafiullah is not going to see the replay in the pavilion. He'll just not want to go through that replay. Sometimes visuals haunt you and this certainly will. Playing across the line. Never a good idea. Another nice delivery to end the over. Good comeback here by Raj. This after he went for 11 runs in his first and two fours in his first two deliveries of a second. Four gone. It's 26 for one.
slower delivery surprised the batter as well gets his bat just in time the jump shot like the way naman is thinking as a bowler brilliant start to this over somehow jamshed manages to put the wood on the ball he got his bat at just the right time though that certainly was crashing into the stumps now this will be a good contest soel khan up against a bowler who's getting that ball to really climb onto batters square leg empire there rashid riaz giving him company at the other end is ghazi sohel just about beating the bat it's the angle that will make life difficult for the batter each time a left arm pacer comes now he's looking dangerous you need to have that competition within yourself to going for some runs raj getting that wicket now naman tiwari looking at his partner he also wants to get a wicket in his kitty the man sitting on my left is mikhail vaswani a mentor to all of us especially to me and to one of my friend who is in india very kind with us very generous with your words thank you we enjoying calling this game lovely to see the future of uh, afghanistan cricket and indian cricket take center stage here at the asia cup brilliant playing conditions extras hurting india we saw a bag full of wides and now naman tiwari just about overstepping free hit on offer the only thing which was missing in that extra column was a no ball the first free hit and it will be sohel khan on strike and he has that license to go after naman tiwari match number 1 of pool a simultaneously two matches being played in edison grounds pakistan playing nepal in oval 2 it's the acc men's under 19 asia cup 2023 naman tiwari into his third India has accounted for the early wicket of Afiullah Zadran. Afghanistan in search of a partnership. India hunting wickets. Oh dear, the problems continue. The free hit continues for Afghanistan. Then no ball, then a wide. a couple of extra deliveries can we see some extra runs from the blade of sohel is trying to pull the bats losing the shape though they have got a wicket it has been an ordinary performance by naman and raj it's more the batter giving his wicket when he played that erratic shot playing across the line quite rightly pointed out with us sir this time again playing across the line not the greatest of shots but a much better delivery able to take that advantage of free hit delivery six balls yet to open the account sohel khan taking an extra pace and nowhere near the ball a wild swing he has that license to go after the previous delivery he has the license yes Much better this time. Plays it through covers. Nicely fielded. I guess the plan is simple here. If you're an Afghanistan batter, Mudassir, just about spend time. It's a good partnership. Absolutely, and they have got the start. It's time to spend some quality time. It's a longer format. You need to build a partnership and rotate the strike. A regular interval that might help them. As top order batters, you don't want to throw away good starts. Just about getting an inside edge, very close. Naman Tiwari has 
mixed his pace well. I like the way he's just about bold his change jumps. Inside edge onto the packs. Lots of promising youngsters inside of India under 19. But one lad from Mumbai, Mushir Khan, very eagerly. And we'll be looking forward to see Mushir Khan bowling those left arm orthodox. Again, drifting down leg, worked it towards square leg. They're looking for the second and they'll get that comfortably as well. The second one for the arm. So Il Khan off the mark. And after over number five, Afghanistan moved to 31 for one. Afghanistan 31 for 1 after 5 overs. Jamshed and Soil just about building a partnership. Raj Limbani with that solitary success in his second. Jamshed have been out there in the middle from the ball one. Still not able to negotiate the pace and the swing from Raj. On two at the other end, Sohel Khan also batting on two of nine balls. But it has been some. And that's the line and length Raj should be sticking to. Never easy when you have a left and right combination in the middle. Just about derails plans and rhythm. But at this level, you should be ready for anything and everything. I like the way Raj has come back. Costly in his uh, first over. Backed by an attacking field, two slips in place, he needs to be bowling to that. Everything is a learning curve, Mudassar, at this age and stage of life. Nicely bowled, the one that leaves the left-handed batter. And what matters is how quickly you learn from your mistakes. Yes, he went for some runs in his first over, some whites going down the leg. Now a better line and length against the left-hander. That's the delivery he should be looking to bowl more. You could see the slip, the spin quadrant, beg your pardon, the slip quadrant, just about staying interested. And this is where, as an Afghanistan batter, this is what I'll want to do. Just about rotate strike, minimum risk, maximum runs, build on a partnership, try to go back and have a good sumptuous lunch. Indeed, and they need to work hard in order to get some runs. It's a longer format. Concentrate on a partnership. Convert those singles into doubles. If we get going down, the first one of Afiola, a poor ordinary shot helping India under-19 team. Fuller, just about going down leg again quicker as well and you did mention Mudasad learning from your mistakes quickly yes because the turnaround time also in the start of it is so, sh so short next game you have to come back stronger harder absolutely and uh, these youngsters and we can see that visible progress especially if you talk about the fastball or Raj Nicely fielded at Gully, throwing himself there, keeping that to a single, good all-round cricket. Mushir Khan there. That's what you want from your fielders. What an effort from the young lad, saving some runs. 
with that single over number six comes to an end 33 for the loss of one Continuing with two slips, Naman Tiwari just losing his footing on the follow through. Needs to be careful. You don't want to twist an ankle at the start of the tournament. There you can see just about where landing. Oh, careful young boy. You have a role to play and a job to do for India under 19. A wicketless, but he has been very economical. This drill runs into his fourth over. Where in the India under-19 captain Saharan might be thinking, winning the toss and opting to bowl first, and expecting a lot from the fast bowlers, but not responding to the call is Naman. Onto the back foot, straight to Mushir Khan. Afghan batters have just not been able to break the shackles. Each time they've tried to free their arms, they've just been kept quiet. There again, not a convincing square cut. Not getting behind it. India very sharp in the field, Mudassir. Especially at that point position, Mushir Khan has been very busy. Still two slips in position. Fuller this time, straight to the field at covers. Tentative Afghanistan at the moment. They lost the early wicket of Afiullah. Soil Khan has consumed 14 deliveries for his three. They can be watchful right now. They have time and deliveries on hand. And you can clearly see the sun coming out and the ball nicely coming on to the bat. Not able to get some movement here. But as a batter, yes, definitely. You need to spend some time. Then you can get those runs for your team. Much better delivery. Just bringing his bat down at just the right time. Watchful Sohail. 15 balls on three. Jamshed is also struggling out there in the middle. Bowlers helping the cause of Afghanistan by giving some extra runs. Another change of uh, pace there by Naman Tiwari. That's something he's done very well. Hasn't tasted much success. The only fear here when it comes to Sohel is he should not get into that shell. They can afford to consume deliveries at this stage. But with the field restrictions on, Mudassar, you'd ideally want to make the most of it as well. Absolutely. As of now, they are on the back foot, not trying out too many things. After losing Wafula, it has been a one-way traffic. Lots of dot balls. There again, just about keeping him on the back foot. India has uh, relied more on the shorter deliveries this morning. But they've also tasted success each time they have uh, got that ball to... Pitch forward, yes, a good over here by Naman, a maiden, 7 gone, 33 for 1 and just the right time to introduce the two commentators who will be taking you through the next 7 overs. It's going to be a very own Suhas Vedam and uh, Diyush Mahapatra.
Thank you so much, Mikhail. Now Jamshid put this one away. This was Naman setting up Sohail there. There's this extra bit of bounce as well. The reason we showed you that is because there is bounce to extract on this track. A couple of slips will always be handy for Raj if he gets going with the ball in hand. Today has been on slightly on the expensive side. Despite picking up a wicket, usually very miserly and it's a great attribute to have if you're a bowler only. John Badiush, welcome. Thank you so much, Shuhas. Uh, very good morning. In fact, good afternoon from Dubai. And uh, it's India versus Afghanistan under 19. India have started off really well. Some runs under the belt for Afghanistan so far, though. Ah, the line has been a problem. Raj hasn't been the first pacer to be straying down the leg side. Really lucky there, Raj, that it didn't disappear before Jamshid. Even with a little bit more glove, could have got the pace on the ball required to send it for four because the outfield's quick. Yes, the outfield is quick, but the fielding has been really tight from the Team India perspective as well, especially Mushir Khan on that point region. He's very much like uh, Ravindra Jadeja in the senior men's team as well. Oh, there we are on the screen. You see them jump and you see them jump like Jadeja as well. You're so tempted to say that, isn't it, Deosh? So that was the first point I wanted to make, in fact. <laughs> Dush, I'll tell you what, you're very observant and uh, the level and the pace of the game itself has picked up suddenly after that boundary. So, wanted to go for a quick single there, then turn down once again. Again, that attacking field set up inside the 30-yard circle. He was well prepared for the shorter one this time. Ah, direct hit. Don't think that's a necessity, but it's still a statement sent across. Oh, absolutely. Not only they're uh, pushed onto their back foot right now, the batters. The fielding has come up uh, suddenly in the last three, four overs, I would say. And now they have to earn their singles and doubles. We're still inside the first power play. Two more overs to go. Four fielders will be sent out after that. He's made his mind up. He'd made his mind up that let the ball come and hit my bat. Eight was gone. 38 for one. Arshan Kulkarni from Solapur to Dubai. It's been quite a journey. He's a very rare commodity as well in the Indian circuit, especially at this level. The reason I tell you that is because Arshan can bat up top and still be the bowler that you want him to be, bowling four. An all rounder who bats up top. Got a glimpse of him from the Maharashtra Premier League. He's bashing the ballers all around the park. Here with the ball. 13 sixes, wasn't it? Incredible. Just a hint of movement. 8 of 17, 8 of 18 now with that uh, dot ball there, jump shade. He's got his eye in. Still felt a little tentative. 
going towards the ball since it was Ashin's first. Just wanted to see how the surface responds to Ashin's deliveries. I think there's a still a bit of a tinge of a movement there for the ballers. And the ball is skidding through as well. Both the batters have faced 18 deliveries each. Cutting down on the room. And Ashin's got that habit of bringing that ball in a little. I think Afghanistan would require some sort of impetus right now. Some runs on the board inside the power play. I'll set things up for the rest of the innings. Jamshid. Finding it difficult right now in the middle. When he releases the ball, there seems to be a deliberate effort to bowl that cutter. He's realized in just three deliveries that cutters are the way to go forward on the surface. Yes, he's, he's going to try out all his varieties, I, I, I feel, against the left-hander. Because the cutter is going to take the ball away from the left-hander there. Again, very, very calculative jump shit with his short selections right now. Though he's finding it really difficult. He has to score some runs. This is why it gently guides it through the gap, accepting the pace onto the bat as well. The fielders in tandem will ensure it's a couple of runs. Now that was the delivery he was eyeing for. He was pitched up. was also giving him uh, some room outside the off-step as well. Went for the drive. And got it in the gap. Did not really time it as much you'd have liked it to. Otherwise, that was always going to speed through to the boundary ropes. Couple of more runs to the batting team. Double figures to uh, Jamshid now. Very well bowled. Just loves that corridor, Arshin. One delivery pitched way wide. The batter did go for the drive, easing it into the gap. Now back to plan A. Still getting the ball to tail in, Arshin Kulkarni. It's the first change of a ball for Team India. They've been tight, but they've been uh, trying to hunt for wickets, that's for sure. The trigger movement takes him deeper inside the crease there. We'll discuss that and a bit more in the next over. 40 for 1. bowlers have been used so far. Naman Raj bowling uh, four overs in tandem. In fact, uh, four overs each in tandem. Twelve runs and a maiden for Naman as well. Raj was taken for runs initially, but he was the one who picked up the wicket. The lone one in the, in the first inning so far. And Arshin has started off well. Be interesting to see whether there's going to be another bowling change or not. Looks like it is. Somi, jersey number four, Team India. Somi Pandey, left arm orthodox. The first signs of spin in this game. You know, the highest wicket taker in the quadrangular that's recently concluded 11 wickets there. Now Pandey can weave a web around the batters. The Pacers were awarded with a slip at least. What about Swami? Pandey's earned himself a slip from the word go. It usually turns here at the ICC Academy over one. That was a very T20 line, wasn't it? Yes, uh, straight down the leg side is easy pickings for the batters, especially... 
with the field that is set right now there's a square leg in place in the deep single taken quite easily now the left hander will take strike the matchup in favor of the batter could try and go for a big one there's a deep backward square leg as well for him and there's a mid wicket in the deep as well was that a long on that is a long on in fact Oh, very well played. This is good cricket all around, in fact. The single's been cut off once again. Forcing the left-hander to do something different now. Jumps it's 10 or 25. So far, he hasn't shown any hurry. That's also because the coach would have told him. Cut down on flamboyance, look for stability, build a partnership. 50 years is a long time. And Afghanistan have surely subscribed to that thought. Oh, absolutely. You can almost feel as if they're waiting for the field to permeate after uh, the first power play. So that they could uh, go to basics, take those singles and doubles on offer. Now, field uh, being attacking is uh, not really helping their cause to score those quick runs. Just two runs of this over so far. Very compact there, Sahil. Not through the gap, another dot pole. Just two of this over. Ten gone, 42 for one. Arshal Gulkani. Just one delivery where he gave the width to drive as well because of the line also and length also. After that, he's kept it in the corridor mostly. The first I know was the power play. Two slips in place to start off with. Felt Wafiullah was also taking chances initially. Very flamboyant as he hits straight down the ground. This is a shot. I think he held his pose for the photographers. And then this happened. Yes, sir, that cover drive was the shot of the day. After that, he was castled. A bit wayward to start off by India as well. They were bowling wides and the extras going for boundaries as well. Arshin to Sohel, who was stuck a bit now, is just uh, tucked it away around the corner for a single. Be the righty or the lefty, Arshin's trying to tuck the batter for room. If you cut down on the room, then the batter needs to change his shape, create different angles to permeate the field especially. To make the gaps more accessible, you leave yourself as a batter a little more vulnerable, I feel, by changing your position, trying to do something different. Or you can do this to make it more accessible. It'll still be a single. But it's good to see intent. The intentions are clear now. Is there a big shot loading? Big shot loading uh, from Jamshit's end, that's for sure. But Sohail is uh, kind of stuck. He's finding his mark out there. 20 odd deliveries for uh, just five runs to his name so far. Rather take a single, give a strike back, 
the left-hander. Beautifully driven. We get a couple of runs. No, he's got to stick with a single. This is good work from Murugan. Quick to swoop towards the ball. And also chose the right end to throw at. Well, the fielding has been super tight from the men in blue. And once again, that was an easy two there. And they started off really well, calling for the second run. But uh, very good work by Abhishek Murugan. Cuts the chase off. And throws it back uh, in a jiffy as well. The idea is to put him off his length. Both the batters are trying to venture out. Arshin looking at the batter till the last moment. Adjusting accordingly. Just loving the battle that's ensuing right now. Almost as if uh, there's something this is going to give. In this contest, Jamshid definitely is eyeing for a boundary. He's played a couple of shots on the offside, found the field, was with good shots, were middled. The fielding placement has been really nice as well. The captaincy has to be talked about. Last ball off this over. Slower delivery. Single still not available. Levener was gone. 46 for one. Levin gone, 46 for one. Pandey had been tight in his first over. The slip persists. Always a good matchup against a right hand at the left arm orthodox. Pandey comes with a repetition of spinning the ball a little more, but today it's ball straight aligns. to just uh, steal a quick single was not allowed once again the the tight fielding that we keep talking about you were down there for the pitch report do you reckon that the ball will spin as the day progresses yes it tends to at ICC Academy Oval 1 because there are cracks especially in the length area as they open up with the Sun beating down the ball tends to deviate once it catches that gap that's exactly why as a slip fielder you're always in the game. No, single not available. Surely India's foot hits entire squad, not just 11 men on the field. Sohail has been arrested completely. Has to find a breathing space. Oh, that's up in the air. Just evades the diving bowler. And there's the single for Sohail. The shades of the longest format of the game in this one too. Setting the batter up, teasing him with dot balls, then creating half an opportunity and that too. A little far. Melt mental games galore. Now, man for the cut shot at backward point. Took a little bit extra time to dispatch that ball. A single's complete, but single hasn't been without a struggle. They'll breathe easy now. Afghanistan, 48 for one in 12.
Four ball is used so far. Now I'm going wicketless for the moment. Raj Arshin Swami, uh, uh, Raj has found his mojo. Pandey was very, very close to picking up a wicket. Arshin's been outstanding. Now time for more spin. Murugan. Right arm off break bowler. Has been brought in because there's a left hander as well. Slightly impulsive one would say the captaincy but might work out in the favour. Just love the pace at which he bowls. Dangles the carrot. I'll tell you what, Sohail can strike the ball a long way. 7 or 28 is not something that reflects his reputation either. Sohail can strike the ball a very long way. But he's known for enduring. He's known for calmness. But that's only to begin with. Now shows, shows a sign of aggression. He wants to meet the ball before Abhishek starts to turn it as well. Interesting tactics from Abhishek coming I mean, round the wicket to the right hander. And now the slip goes off as well. Short delivery back to the bowler. The pace seems to be quickening as the over is progressing. 32 deliveries since the last boundary was scored. This 19 year old Abhishek Murugan. It was a treat to watch with the bat in hand to Abhishek. I remember an under-16 game with his all-round performance versus Madhya Pradesh. He was able to eke out that win. Fantastic. Morgan considering it a crime to leak a single at this stage. Sohail has to labour right now. Cuts it and again finds the fielder. 13 gone, 49 for one. Forty-nine for one in thirteen overs. The trial by spin. The trial by spin continues for Afghanistan under nineteen. The boundaries have dried up. The ropes seem to be very far away. Something has to change, and Jamshid can change that. Difficult with this length. And the varied pace as well from both the ballers, in fact, now. Now that we have spinners from both ends. Has to play a release shot. Misses out. Good keeping behind the stumps. The lack of room is something that's very evident in the lines that the spinners have bowled so far. Was there an opportunity? I was trying to open the face of the bat. No real contact there. Even if they're not finding those boundaries, they have to score those singles every now and then. Now that the, there are four fielders cushioning the boundary ropes, singles are on offer. 49 on the board. A single will take them to a landmark 50. And that has been nicely tucked away. In fact, it was a ramp shot from Jamshid. And he will collect the much-needed boundary. Precious runs for Afghanistan as they reach the half-century mark. 53 for 1 in 14.
went cheeky. He had to think out of the box because all his options were curtailed. His favourite shots were curtailed with the fielder. And the risk pays off too. We talked about the outfield being a brilliant one here at the Academy Oval 1 of ICC. That's testament. Gets a hand to it. Still a single will be possible. And it's good to see that this single wasn't a stutter but absolute clarity because of the calling. Yes, that boundary helped. And now there must be some words exchanged between the batters. Clarity has to be one thing that they have to stick to throughout uh, this partnership. Could have been a story of overrunning. Rudra Mayur Patel losing his balance but still having the hands in the right position for not allowing the ball to go past him. Good work. We were talking about that Vijay Merchant game. Vijay Merchant Trophy. Where Abhishek was able to produce wickets at the right time to curtail Madhya Pradesh and restrict them from winning by a margin of one run eventually. I think that is when he made the heads turn. And then of course his batting. So Hale's been solid. But there needs to come a time where he says, I will press the gas, kick into the next gear. Beautifully driven. Last few overs went by pretty quickly. Because uh, of the spinners bowling in tandem as well, They're running through their overs. It's the 15th over, in fact, the last ball of the 15th coming up. Easy through the gap and just enough fuel to try and think about the second that direct hit again. He's left it to the umpire to reset the furniture. Of niche. 15 overs gone, 57 for one. Initially, I thought there was two available, Diyush. But then Jamshed had to stick with a single. And in the end, seems to be the right decision. Fifteen gone. Fifty-seven for one. Change in voices. We've got Mikhail and Mudassi to take you forward. Kept things simple, kept things quiet, but what they have ensured is that they have kept wickets intact as well. Nine in hand, and they are building well, building towards skyscrapers. There will come a time where one of them will take matters into their own hands. Sami into his fourth has kept things tidy, he will want a wicket or two. Gives the charge, goes aerial, field coming underneath it, it will fall between three. Fortune favours the brave, they say, and this time around, Sohil will agree to it. Very lucky to survive. Yes, as you could expect, he was batting on 9 of 36 deliveries. Had to play a release shot, but he just took on the wrong baller there, Somi. Gets uh, a leading edge. Luckily, it falls right in between the three fielders there. No man's land. And a single was taken away. Time plays it on the back foot, tries to use the depth of the crease, sharp in the field as always. Mm. 
Mushir has been very impressive in that point region. There again, shy the stumps, desperate dive. All is well that ends well for Afghanistan. It's quick as a wild goose, Mushir. Again, diving and just uh, picking himself up, throwing it back in, in a jiffy. And uh, the call was uh, bang on this time around from Sohel. Single was taken. They've got to be very careful with their shot selection, these Afghan batters. Quicker. This works it towards square leg. Sensible cricket. And I said they have to be very, very careful with their shot selection is because during acceleration you need to pick the bowlers, pick the areas. Diyush. Oh, absolutely. And you have to target a certain score as well in the, in the burst of five overs that is, that is going to come from here on in. Especially against the spinners, you have to calculate your singles and your boundaries as well. Punches that off the back foot to another single towards sweeper cover. So runs coming in singles at the moment. Afghanistan's not complaining. Complaining. So is India. 16 gone is 62 for one. Just about getting behind the ball on that occasion. And uh, they take another single as they also head into a quick water break as well. It's been a good partnership between Jamshid and Sohel. This after they lost Wafiola very early in their innings. India a little wavered to begin with. Sharp in the field but I'm sure they'll want to add a few more wickets in the next passage of play. It's been that passage of play where both teams have had their chances and moments as well. After 16, Afghanistan would want to believe 
they have done reasonably well to get to 62 for one. India, well certainly they are a wicket or two less or rather short in this essay of theirs. It's been a good partnership by Jamshed who's holding fort at one end. Sohail has been watchful. Captain Uday Saharan did everything he could, changed his bowlers, got spinners from both ends but has only managed to taste success once. I'm Mikhail Vaswani giving me company in the com box with Diyush Mahapatra. We're coming to you live from the ICC Academy Oval 1 ground in UAE. And this is the ACC Men's Under-19 Asia Cup 2023, match number one in Pool A. There we are. Wonderful to be calling this game and just so nice to see the young talent on offer, the future stars of India and Afghanistan cricket. Quite a colourful day, to be honest. Blue skies, green carpet right underneath. And uh, two great teams battling it out, out, th out there as well. There's another game happening right next to us as well. ICC ground uh, oval number two, where Pakistan is taking on Nepal. Arshin Kulkarni introduced into the attack. Was impressive in, in his first spell. What I like about him is at the point of delivery, he brings in that extra bit of effort. And that's where he generates all his pace from very tall. And bowls well, well within his limitations, Diyush. He's got the ball to move in the first two overs that he bowled. Now that the ball has uh, roughed up a bit, has to be the lengths that is, uh, is going to come right now. He's going to pull out of that one. Dead ball signal by the umpire. Yes, we have heard a lot about Arshin's batting. It's uh, his bowling uh, prowess that he's going to show in this tournament probably. Looks a strong lad and if he can offer balance with bat and ball, lend more than he can, then certainly any captain would like to have someone like him. This is where Afghanistan will now have to re-strategize. They've had the drinks break, they've had the discussion. What's the way forward? This partnership has to continue for at least uh, as much as they reach the three-figure mark. And maybe after that, uh, try and score some quick runs. Sohail was trying to up the ante in the previous uh, over. In fact, he was almost caught there. So showing some signs of scoring some runs. And quick and fast as well. Play and miss once again. Yes, he's consumed 48 deliveries for his 24. He spent enough time. But he's still not been able to middle or time the ball, or rather get behind it. Wonderful follow through from Arshin. Keeps an eye on the batter till the end. And as you rightly mentioned, great release. Pulls it this time. Fielder coming underneath just about goes over him. Kept him interested for a while. But that's very poor fielding because he's conceded a second run. Very alert and smart running between the wickets by the Afghan batters. Yes, uh, he was watching the ball till the end. And I think he was playing that catch in the back of his head before going for the throw. And the batters were uh, amazing to steal the second run there. Quick thinking and great coordination. Very casual approach there, let me tell you, at mid-wicket. This time, timed it well only to find the fielder at point. Somi Pandey, the fielder there. Skew away, a single extra run there. Didn't quite get on top of that, underneath that. Went over, Somi Pandey, who was deployed at Shot mid-wicket. But it was the release and the manner in which he reacted to that entire situation. Another single. That will bring uh, the end to the 17th of a 65 for 1 after 17.
Mushir Khan, another left arm orthodox spinner, will be in operation. Another talented lad who's uh, earned his stripes to get this far. Mushir Khan, a very prominent name in Mumbai cricket. Oh, gets a leading edge, just trying to close the face of the bat on that occasion, Jamshed. Living dangerously at the moment, trying to up the scoring. They need to be careful. Might have hurt himself in the process there, Mushir. Brushing his right knee on the ground there. It's quick like a fox. Works it away towards deep backward square leg. Once again, they run the first run fast and they'll chance another one for the arm and they'll get it comfortably. Their coordination has been good in the middle and both have responded to each other very well. Important runs. And more importantly, they're pushing the fielders now. It's great to see. Good intent from the batters. Yes, and this is where I feel the Indian fielders need to just lift their fielding and game. Trying to use the pace. It's getting slightly hotter as well as the day progresses. Much better. Always up for the challenge, Mushir Khan. Place that again towards deep backward square leg. Once again, they'll want to fancy the arm for the second, but this time it's much better work done. Work done in the deep. Four runs. Beg your pardon. Three runs coming off Mushir's first over. 18 gone and 68 for one. Arshin will continue. It's Jamshid on strike. He's batting on 30 not out now. Tries to fend at it. It's a play and a miss. No signals from the umpire as well. You could sense a bit of impatience just creeping into the ranks of the Afghan batters. Just about trying to find ways to get the big hits or the big runs. India keeping things tidy and tight. Arshin into his fourth. He's conceded only nine. I'll tell you what, that will be regarded as a wide, way over comfort there. No chance whatsoever for the batter to reach anywhere close to that. Another extra. He's trying out uh, different varieties against the left-hander. But again, most of the channel is going to be outside the off stump. Shot and wide, cut away. He got on top of that. Work to do for the field and the deep and very nicely done as well. They'll complete two runs but full marks for the fielding effort. Adarsh Singh there in the deep. Puff of grass coming out as well with that sliding effort. Raj Lambani, Raj Lambani. Raj Lambani, correction, was the fielder there. Good collection, good throw, but uh, since the ground is long enough in that region, couple of runs easily taken. 10 on 10 for that effort. There again, Arshin just about flirting with danger. And he's considered two wides already. This is where the Indian under-19 bowlers have been guilty this morning, Diyush. And this is exactly where Afghanistan would like to capitalize now. You can see Arshind 
struggling slightly, shoulders down. Couple of wides in this over. And uh, Jamshed just uh, tucks it away ever so elegantly. But once again, that fielding effort has come to the rescue. Third man this time puts in the dive and saves it from going to the boundary. Very good effort in the deep. That was certainly going to be a three to four runs. And he certainly saved all of them. Gives the charge, just about goes over the bowler's head. Almost got his fingers to it. Didn't quite connect it. Yes, uh, gave the charge, that's for sure. And then Arshin watched him coming down the crease, changed the length. But he still went through with the shot, came with the higher uh, part of his blade. And a quick run taken. time much better taking the pace off it another single down third played it much finer the last time this time straight to the third man fielder runs coming in this over for uh, team Afghanistan couple of extras and some singles as well and uh, the current run rate now has reached exactly four Last ball of the 19th, it's Sohail on strike. Uh, this time, he looks to go over only to find the field at mid on. Arshin strikes in his fourth. India get their second and Sohail's vigil in the middle comes to an end as he has to walk back for four. India tastes success for the second time in this game against Afghanistan. Yes, uh, it was a struggling knock from Sohail to be honest. 12 runs of 40 deliveries. They will uh, definitely take that team, India. The second wicket down. Uday Saharan was the catcher, captain himself. As Afghanistan lose their second. It's 75 for two. As the 19th over comes to an end as well. Akram Mohammad Zai makes his way to the middle. He's the number four for Afghanistan. 75 for two. India into the 20th over now. Mushir to continue. Very fast between his deliveries, Mushir. Just all the spinners they run through their overs very quickly. It's three of his first over. Now he's uh, coming to ball his second. Jamshid tries to cut it, beats him outside the off stump as well. They want to eye for that wicket as well. This is the second one. Brilliant catch from Uday Sharan. He's running backwards and taking it quite comfortably in the end. I just felt that was a half hearted hit by. Sohail, back live, too close to cut, yes, no, and there's a little bit of a misfield and they'll get the single as well. Jamshid always wanted a one, but was sent back by Akram who's just walked in, take it easy, his partner is saying, we don't want to lose another wicket. Yes, just hurried on to him a bit. Spun away. It was the last second. That's why 
A misfield and a single was taken. Akram, the new man in for Afghanistan, is going to take strike for the first time. Right-handed batter facing the left arm off spinner. It's coming round the wicket. And this is where I feel India can also just tighten things with a new batter in. Just have fielders converging and just about gain more control of this game. Final delivery is going to be a single. Akram gets off the mark. It's uh, 77 for 2 after 20. Afghanistan need a move on from here. They've done well so far, but they need some runs now. Arshin to continue. Runs coming in singles. This one down third. Happy dugout. Seeing Akram taking those singles. Jamshid has to stay. He's the well set man out there. But uh, the others have to rotate around him. Oh yes, he's the pivot around which the rest will revolve. But India will be happy with his effort. 78 for 2 after 20. I'm sure they'll feel that they've done a decent job of just about keeping Afghanistan quiet. It's because of that wicket, Arshin gets another over from uh, the same end. And he's now going to bowl to Jamshid. And this is the wicket that India is eyeing for right now. It's a catching position on the offside. There's a point fielder. Slightly attacking, but Arshin again just pulls out. He's probably having some trouble with the run-up. Oh, he's had a couple of false starts, Arshin, this morning. But what I've really liked about his demeanour is that he's had a very calm and composed approach in his run-up until his follow-through as well. Looks a very wise head above his shoulders. Keeping that wide of the batter. Saw him giving the charge. Stats spin his line length to the left-hander today. I think he can bowl, he can bowl that uh, all the way through Sunday. Jamshid has to try something new, something special to get things moving. Full and driven handsomely for four. What a shot that is from Jamshid. He was waiting for that full delivery. And boy, oh boy, did that uh, bludgeon off his bat or not. Elegant, effective and efficient. You can sum it up in these three adjectives. Fuller this time around. Just about gave the charge. And look at that follow through as well. Shot of the morning coming from the bat of Jamshid. He's moved to 39 in 67. And Afghanistan will want to see as much of him this morning. Good comeback here. Good reply by Arshid. He's back to the hard length. Slightly full. It was treated to the boundary. I think he was trying to ball a slow one as well. And it was picked up by Jamshid. Two more deliveries to go in this over. And I think they have done enough in this session of play so far. Slightly short. 
gets back to ball but finds the fielder backed off side field it's another dot I think still very much in control if you're an Indian fan I've kept things quiet Afghanistan have been tentative each time they've tried to take their chances they found the fielder they've had to depart and that's why you can see a sense of doubt each time they've tried to play a shot in the middle there again keeping that shot picking the hard lengths not allowing the batter much room that one though should have been put away nevertheless good over here 21 overs gone it's 82 for 2 and there'll be a change in voices suhas vedam and mudassar ali will take you through the next 7 overs Mushir can write a book called The Magic of Spin Bowling. And so has Vidal, joined by Mudassir Ali. Mudassir, the spinners bowl well. And you love spinners. Reference to Haas, yes. They do bowl well. And so has talks well. Uh, it's 82 no. for the loss of two. Jamshed still out there in the middle. Trying to give him support is Akram. Keep an eye on this lad, Mushir Khan, the younger brother of Sarfaraz. The only lad in this side is representing Mumbai Cricket Association. Oh, very good delivery. Mushir Khan's got someone very special watching this game as well from the ground. His father has turned up. Someone who taught him to visualize. Someone who taught him to to understand the nuances of cricket. And of course, when you have a brotherly figure like Sarfaraz doing his thing, then you do pick up. Such a tidy over this as well. And gets through with it quickly. That's how you become better friends with the captain. 22 overs gone, 82 for 2. Abhishek Murugan. Both these bowlers are mirroring each other's figures at this stage. The spinners. Oh, very good delivery. A bit of drift in the edge. Just a little bit. That's a shot to break free. Couple of bounces into the fence. This is a much needed boundary who pushes beyond 43 as well, Jamshed. He's decided to take things into his hands now. Growing in confidence, Jamshed shimmy down the track and clears it mid on with ease. A much needed boundary and four more runs for Afghanistan. It's one thing to play that shot, Mudassir. It's quite another to sequence that shot. Wait for the right delivery. 
draw the bowler into thinking that he is in control. Indeed, it wasn't a bad delivery, but strikes Abhishek wanted to repeat the feed. Shimmy down the track, misses the line completely. Wicket number three goes down. Morgan having the last laugh. Once again venturing out Jamshed this time. Doesn't find the middle of the bat. Got into a very difficult position as well to execute that shot. Lexton was in the way. The underage has done the trick. Jamshed Zadran stays come to the middle. Well, he's come to an end rather. 43 or 75. Four boundaries. 86 for three. Runs for Norman right away. That was a terrific pickup and dispatch. It's a good over, a successful over from Abhishek comes to an end. It's 87 for the loss of 3, 23 gone. Murugan tasting success. He just scored a boundary in that over. Fancy in another. Jump shades back in the hut. So has this is the second time we have seen in the Afghanistan innings. Batter who was looking good. Just gave away his wicket. It was Wafiullah now. Jamshed is trying to cut loose. Losing the shape and Abhishek getting his first wicket of this game. 87 for 3 in 23 overs. 2 of 9 for Rakram. Norman's just joined him. Pulls out of the delivery Mushir. It's a tacit learning for all the other youngsters as well. Watching it from Mushir. When you do not feel 100% don't ball. Oh well, it's slightly delayed an appeal. When Mushir joined in. It was the keeper who started the chorus. A smile from the umpire that's suggesting with a little head bob. Perhaps even you know there was no bat on it. Trying to put some extra pressure on the on-field umpire. Not getting that support from Mushir Khan. Just coming into the right-hand batter. Played with soft hands. And talking about Mushir Khan and his brother. It reminds me of 2014 when he was here, Sarfaraz, for under-19 World Cup and Asia Cup and during those time Mushir Khan alongside his father used to sit at the top stairs just behind us supporting his brother look at the destiny Mushir Khan is playing for India under 19 same venue the light comes a full circle same venue a different jersey one that he values a very very much better this time round same jersey, one that he values even more. And his father is watching. A proud moment for Mr. Naushad, father of Mushir Khan. A quicker one. All the batters have started slow, marring the only opener of Wafiola Tarakil's quality. All the batters have started slow. Is that an indication that 50 overs is a long time and that's that's the thought that's been instilled in the minds of the young Afghanistani batters? 24 gone, 88 for 3, we'll keep the chat alive.
88 for 3. 26, 75, 86. There was one good partnership for the second weekend. And after that, in quick succession, losing the third Afghanistan under 19. The buzzword is partnership. Mudassir, partnership. And as of now, they are lacking that Afghanistan. Two new batters out there in the middle, Numan and Akram. They need to really work hard and build up a partnership. Abhishek, though he has got a wicket in his previous over, he has been replaced by the fast bowler. There we are. A oh, quick single taken, well done. There's got to be some intent, something to put pressure on the fielders of India. Arshan Kulkarni has got a very good throwing arm as well, but did not pick it up cleanly. Now it's about the halfway mark. Three wickets lost, 89 on the board. They've got some terrific batters to come as well. Where do you see this innings going for Afghanistan? It all depends on this batter, Akram. He has a plenty of runs under his belt coming into this tournament and these two if they can stay for 40 45 overs they could go past 250 excellent stuff coming from mushir khan the live wire at point a good pick up and throw isn't it interesting with us sir that many of the bowlers who've done well have been excellent fielders too a oh, one-handed pick up on the run Superb. One thing in cricket cannot be taught and that's the anticipation. This is the modern day cricket and you expect the left arm even fast bowlers nowadays. They are brilliant fielders as we have seen Pat Cummins, the captain of Australia, fast bowler but also a very decent and a good fielder. And as the World Cup taught us, sensational captain. And someone who doesn't mind letting the limelight be on someone like Maxwell and playing in innings equally effective at the other end. You were there in the stadium enjoying his knock. Not the one in the final, but the 200 he made against Afghanistan. You had to break that up in this game? <laughs> no, but I think Afghanistan senior team's campaign has been no less than a big learning curve for all the other teams irrespective of the fact they would have played test match cricket or no or would be called a full member or no the rise of afghanistan itself in that world cup has been a learning curve i i covered the game in in uh, kolkata firstly against netherlands which was very depleted at that time but the learning curve for the big afghanistan as a side came versus Pakistan that game changed everything that instilled new level of belief in them because that and the, the kind of run chases that they were part of as well mother said just told you that this is this is not a team that you can take lightly also because they've got a method to the madness terrific from Namantivari We've seen this time and again in the UPT20, drawing the batter forward and then confusing him with the length. Looking for the first wicket and talking about the progress of Afghanistan. Before 2014-15, they were struggling in the associate division. This was the previous one. An extra bounce. Look at the visible progress of Afghanistan team in just a matter of 9 or 10 years. They are a very good team as we have seen in the World Cup. They went on to defeat Pakistan. And I think it's also the fact that they've tapped talent regularly at all levels. Just tells you how important under-19 becomes as well. Because you're looking at the future stars. These are the ones that will wear the country's jersey at the highest level too. The amount of talent they have on the national side... Most of the Afghanistan players now they are regular in the league, franchise cricket as well. It's good to see that the players from Afghanistan 
have been busy playing Abu Dhabi T10. And what happens when they play all that franchise cricket around the world? They come back and permit that knowledge to the youngsters who find a new will to pick up the bat and ball. Good over for Naman. Like the way he sequenced the bouncer, but unfortunately that was given as an extra. 25 overs gone, 91 for 3. Forty-three or seventy-five jump sheets contribution. A little slow, but you can tell why. Vafiula left early, so Hale's resistance for some it was it was looking good. So Hale, but that resistance had to come to an end. Never got going. I felt today. It's important that uh, Akram can find the odd boundary and a lot more of the singles too. The problem for Afghanistan has been the fact that the singles had dried up. It's good to see them take a single now. This is how you keep yourself busy and keep the scoreboard ticking. Akram and Noman, a lot depends on these two youngsters. I'm talking about plenty of options in the bowling for India captain. A couple of left-arm orthodox doing an excellent job. We're talking about the surface, Suhas now the ball nicely coming on to the bat. And if they can bat these two for another 15 or 20 overs, I reckon they can go beyond the 230 250 mark. And that'll be a very good score. ICC Academy Oval 1 260 is a very good score. And they'll take 250 as well. That would be quite a fight back. Interestingly, it's the spinners who are taking more time to bowl their over. Norman Tiwari was quicker in all sense of the word. See, this is the advantage you have when you have someone like experienced Suha sitting next to you, keeping an eye on the time of the spinners. Who said timings only for the batters? <laughs> Half of the overs done in the first innings. Inching closer to their first milestone of 100, Afghanistan 92 on board. Get to see that extravagant turn, something that usually gives. Nice is the Academy Oval one. You see that turn. I've seen sessions of cricket start by the spinner. With a new ball in hand. Opportunity. Falls safely. The second run is on. Oh, he slips. He slips and falls. Does put in the dive. But this could, this could be touch and go. The dive wasn't despair indeed. But luckily, luckily he did not take the second run. Yes and no between these two batters. Now, Akram is in trouble going upstairs as the on-field empire. Keeper goes outside the frame. The batter arrives in the frame. But before that, does the ball hit him back? This game and its margins just keeps on shrinking. And it might be a blur, but I believe that he's made it. What does the third umpire say? And I love the fact that the bat is facing down because that's when it doesn't bounce and lift. This is good technique. Extra dive. The basics are right. I think he just made it home. 
should be a tough task for the TV umpire taking his own time. He had to recover from that fall. Superb work. And he's used this break while we went upstairs to nurse his injury that that he got by diving. Is he walking now? We're waiting for the third umpire's decision to come through. What does the umpire say? Proactive thinking by the Indian keeper. But Akram... He gets to be there. No one gets to be there. No problem in the first run. That's when no one thought. Let's take a second. Was in trouble, but that dive saving him. And the TV empire has got the wrong button, and everyone were confused. But good to see the on-field empire just getting that confirmation. So he survives. He'll continue. So 94 for the loss of three. 26 overs done. A desperate dive. Time for Naman Tiwari to continue. I think there were coaches in India who classify Naman Tiwari's action as one of the most beautiful things to see in cricket. Very smooth action. Was spotted first in Lucknow under 14. And then spent his time benching in the gym to get that extra bit of power and then under 16 he was he was waiting for an opportunity then came the Kuch Bihar trophy 2019 and after that Naman Tiwari became a household name opportunities well, it's all about how you grab them and good to see left arm fast bowler doing a pretty good job wicketless but he has been decent with the new ball The ball coming into the right-hander, curtailing his options. If he wants to create room, then he's got to create his own. He's not getting any from Naman. This could be this could be an interesting ploy indeed, Mudassir. Cutting down on the room once again. No slip, of course, because the ball's not moving as much as it did earlier. Absolutely, as we were discussing early in the innings. There will be slight movement initially, but after that, it will be a batting paradise here in oval one. I'm a bit surprised the captain of India just replacing Abhishek who has got that wicket with the Naman Tiwari. Extra bounce coming into the right hand batter. Testing Numan. Well negotiated on the back foot keeping and close eye. Watchful. It's one thing to bowl short, it's quite another to direct it so well. Well negotiated in the end. It had to take a hop. But no man does well. There have been no easy runs available. That's only after the ball lost a bit of shine. Earlier they were all over the place, the Indian paces. Bowling wides regularly. Leaking runs. Everything changed.
fast bowler quite warm out here in ICC Cricket Academy the youngsters doing a pretty good job for India under 19 team very well guided the preparation has been excellent for Naman Tiwari coming into this tournament But he's worked on lines. The ideal line to get the batter hopping. Because lengthwise he was always good. Once again. He loves to ball back of a length but the line that forces him to play. 27 overs gone, 98 for 3. Ninety-eight for three in twenty-seven overs. Pandey has gone wicketless so far. The ball's bouncing a little more than expected, and that's happening after twenty-seven overs as well. Kudos to John, the curator. Good signs for the wicket uh, for the spinners as well here. And bowling as per his requirement is Pande. A bit quicker, a slight turn. Puts back to ball and a run is available. partnership well managed on the back foot now inching closer to that milestone Afghanistan just to run away from 100 should be down the track played straight towards Pande getting excited the bowler dot ball after dot ball strung together Tells you the importance of that single in between. Now that odd ball. You know, this oh, this Saharan has been good. Whenever you're feeling it anywhere from backward point to gully, it gets a little difficult because the ball comes on to you quickly and with torque. So you've got to be ready for anticipating that torque. A single to end the over, Afghanistan reach a hundred, hundred for three.
the first 50 took 84 deliveries the second one 84 deliveries maintaining symmetry there Afghanistan but now they want to improve Mushir with the ball in hand once again Mikhail with a mic in hand once again good afternoon Suhas talk about symmetry well quite certainly the tempo hasn't changed for Afghanistan there Mushir has been very very tidy and almost amongst the wickets there almost oh yes Akram and Numan now stitching a good partnership together but it's not come at a good clip they've taken their time but that's how Afghanistan have played the cricket the amount of flight that he gives Mushir is always dangling the carrot tempting the batter and that's even if this happens this is good shot straight down the ground is a lovely area indeed something had to give oh yes Midan was up in the circle the challenge was thrown and he's accepted it and got four runs as well very good shot under pressure against the run of play never easy to play a left arm orthodox spinner in that fashion had to get to the pitch of the ball this time tries to play as it late plays from the gap as well racing away to the ropes but it'll just be cut off they'll come back for three meanwhile suddenly the tempo that you were talking about that has increased Afghanistan moved to 108 first a boundary now three What's the message you'd like to give the batters from the dugout, Suhas, at this stage? Positivity. Maintain that in, in your batting. Taking on Mushir after he had created an opportunity, first ball just tells you that it's, it's something that Afghanistan have worked on. And that grunt as well that he's missed out on an opportunity to put that past the fielder. Ed covers 29 overs gone 109 for three lone wolf appealing just love the fact that the umpire doesn't say no it just tilts the head a little bit and the smile suggests that are you sure you want to go for it one of the more positive things today for Afghanistan in the batting that we've seen so far is that they are not struggling to use their feet against the spinners it's something that they've worked on very consciously good observation also they've understood conditions There's not much turn on the surface we did see the previous delivery by Sami actually turning square but as you rightly pointed out get to the pitch of the ball The way Pandey prepared for this tournament is with the quadrangular early on where he emerged as the highest wicket taker, 11 wickets in his kitty. And today into his 7th over, still searching for his first. Good delivery. And sometimes in cricket, you learn that it's as much a team game as it is individual. If you ball tidy overs from one end, the wicket scholar might tick for your partner at the other. There again, nicely bowled, just trying to take the pace of it, just pulling it back as well, that length. He's a thinking lad, Sami.
He's bowled all six balls at a similar pace. A single to end the over with. Come on, Mikhail, give us a hop. It's 111 on the board for three. Hundred and eleven for three in thirty overs. Raj who picked up the wicket initially. He's been brought back into the attack. Wants to ruffle some feathers here, Odessa Harman. It's the second time in quick succession that a batter has looked like he would get chopped on. Yes, by the end of it though, they've made sure that they don't lose too many wickets despite the runs just about being a little too less at this stage for Afghanistan. They're playing the waiting game. There again, almost chopped that on as well, but ensure they get the single. Get the impression, so as today the Indian bowlers have been a little too short. The lengths have been largely, I would say, 70% on the shorter side. You talk about hard lengths, I understand that, but they have quite literally tried to keep the batters on the back foot. I mean, no complaints. They've kept the run rate in check. Curtail the options of the batter by directing those deliveries well. Even in this one, the batter had to open the face of the bat to try and guide it for a single. If he wants to go through with a big shot on the offside, create more room is what the bowler is screaming. And in the bargain, you always find the batter taking that additional risk of losing a shape. So you reckon this is a plan that they've uh, devised for this particular game? It's a plan that's come about after reading the surface and how the game went. This is what we keep talking about. Shy the stumps at the other end, the half-hearted appeal. All happening here at the ICC Cricket Academy Oval Ground. We're just pitching it up. We just saw what happened. There you go. Well, that was drifting down leg. Never would that have been a decision. Like everyone was absorbed in the appeal. That's when the keeper said, there is an opportunity at the non-strikers in, my friend. I think it was Saharan who picked up that cricket ball and had a shy. You need someone to ruffle some feathers from Afghanistan side. Someone who can score a quick fire 30 at this stage. Kicking to the next year. Get Uday Saharan thinking because at the moment it looks like it's on autopilot. Every bowler is being tidy. Absolutely, Suhas. You need someone to just come and derail plans for India as far as Afghanistan is considered. India though sitting pretty in the driver's seat in control of things. The boundaries have dried up. They can't be complaining. They again didn't quite get into position. They'll get another single. 31 gone, 115 for 3.
Pandey to continue. When you start after a little bit of a break, usually the batter is tentative, but not here. Well, Akram has his conditions very well. He's had a good measure of the pitch. And it's important that you use your feet to the spinners, and that's exactly what he's doing. Conviction and footwork matters a lot in the middle overs. Countless times the inside edge. Countless times today. How far was this one? A single. Good news for some of the boys of the Afghanistan under 19 is that they've, they've been here in this country before. Playing cricket. Oh, good job. Again, anticipating well. Not even allowing the opposition to entertain a thought of a single, let alone execute. And tries to play that off the back foot, unable to get rid of it. Sami keeping things tight, pressure mounting on the Afghan batters. Looks like they've got into their shell. Was almost stranded halfway. The first call was no, the second call was a bigger no. 32 overs gone, 116 for 3. Hundred and sixteen for three. Raj had bowled half his quota. The captain wants to use him for the sixth. Doesn't want to go back to the curse of straying down the leg side. He was bowling bowling well in between. Let's take a look at that delivery once again. The previous delivery of the last over. Nicely fielded the batters from stealing a single inside the 30-yard circle. India has been sharp in the field. The bowling though one can certainly question that line of theirs. They have sprayed on both sides of the wicket. I think it pinches the batters more if a good shot doesn't grant you that single. A good shot. As a batter you'd always want to get to the other end and if you middle a delivery and you feel that it deserves value and if it's denied as you rightly pointed out so as it does hurt plays on the mind not in great control but that single is still available it's important both Akram and Numan have a chat in the middle They've spent enough time. I'm sure they have plans. They have batters who can come and give them the impetus. But somebody will have to just about give Afghanistan a few good overs. That is a wide indeed. Akram needed a trampoline to get there. And that extra column will make for a very interesting piece of statistic. There again, too much bounce on this occasion. 17 extras, 15 wides. And that is something the India under-19 will want to improve upon when they come into their next second game. On 10th, they play Pakistan. Inside edge again towards square leg. That'll be a cracker too. 
I think a collection of inside edges can be a package in itself today. And we're not even done with the first innings. 17 overs still left in this. It's way too many inside edges, but most of them are yielded in singles and doubles. So Afghanistan will count them as legit runs from the bat. How many times has cutting down on room worked following the batter from that very nagging length as it's become? Going at uh, 3.65 at the moment and they'll get to 183. That's something they don't want to settle on. If they can get to somewhere close to 230. Single to end the over. 33 overs gone. 1, 2, 1 for 3. There is a very wide long off lurking. One of the better things about Rudra is that you can put him anywhere in the field. He's got a very good arm. Not the kind of contact that he intended to. Well, these are long boundaries, let me tell you. I don't know the necessity of that, but it's great to see that the keeper was ready for it. That's played well. That's in the gap too. Much needed boundary and in the fashion that it's come will instill a lot of confidence in Akram. Well, this is a statement as well by Akram. A counter-attack shot and a reply to what happened previously as well. Bit of a mini battle going on in the middle, but this was beautifully picked up. Never easy. Went down on his knee and got that towards Cow Corner region. The comeback deliveries every time has been good by Mushir. Much needed boundary, but otherwise it's been a decent over here by Mushir. 34 gone, it's 126 for 3. Ashan Kulkarni at the direct hit is a bane right now and it's just not needed that's something the Indian fielders need to keep in mind unnecessary throws leading to extra runs will just about add to their problems 
We saw in the previous over as well, Mushir Khan just showing signs of frustration and hurling the ball back at the wicket keeper. After that, he was hit for a four as well. Got to keep things simple and calm. When you see such direct hits go for a single, eventually you're reminded of judo and many forms of martial art. Oh, that is not the right delivery. Easily put away. Arrives in the scene just at the right time. Rudra. He's kept it down to a single. Oh, yes, the pickup and the release. Wonderful there by Rudra. It's very good to have in the outfield. Quick hands, quick feet. You need such fielders just to raise the level of the game in the middle. A good fielding effort can be infectious as well to us. So true. India today have fielded like a unit so far. But we were discussing, we were discussing the directed and that reminds me at least of many martial art forms which teaches you to know every punch and every kick in the book but avoid conflict at the end of the day. It's good to have that capacity to get that direct hit in when required only. It's been a very common region in this over. Rudra kept busy. Numan's got 22 in 37, Akram 20 in 43. Another fine partnership here for the fourth wicket. And certainly, it'll be interesting to see the depth of this Afghanistan batting lineup. Do they have the power hitters to give them the impetus? It's been that kind of a passage of play where both teams are just sitting back and waiting for things to happen. A couple of times that area has been peppered. The control quotient just increased the second time I fell. Top edge. And Aravali will not make a mistake. Ashins provided the wicket. And Akram has to depart. Didn't quite get underneath that. And hands a simple catch to the wicket keeper. Leading edge on this one. A nothing shot. And Aravali had to just run a few steps back and make that look very easy and comfortable. So India get their fourth. Akram departs. Arshan strikes. He walks back for 20 and 45. Afghanistan in little trouble at this stage. Raheem is in the middle because of this. Just when we were talking about the control of the batters, one shot out of control. Avnish with safe pair of hands and gloves on them. Raheem Mullah Zurmeti has made his way to the middle. This will be a good test for him. Hopefully he's gelled well with the squad. This will be a good test. Yes. 
That's close enough and given. Wasn't turning as much as Rahimullah thought it would. Goes without troubling the scorers. And Mushir is amongst the wickets. Well, Rahimullah has to walk back in quick time. He was playing for the turn. That went with the arm. And no hesitation whatsoever for the umpire to raise his finger. Well, that was straight. Oh, yes. The bowler took off. So did the wicket keeper. And Mushir knew he had his man. So back to back scabs for India has pegged Afghanistan back once again. They lose half their side. Raimullah departs for zero. And Afghanistan are on 130 for five in the 36th. Muhammad Yunus again someone who has the capacity to to increase the level of run scoring the pace of run scoring but it's been a persisting problem for Afghanistan under 19 side the middle overs and the middle order not clicking in the middle overs the lack of intent sometimes happened earlier in the year as well against Bangladesh under 19 And this is where they can change it. If Yunus can uh, get some quick runs and stitch a quick partnership. Take a look at the dismissal once again. There you can see. Just went slightly wide of the crease as well. And that helping his cause. He's a smart operator, Mushir. Just like a batter is learning to use the depth of the crease. The bowler tends to learn to use the width of the crease and change the release point. Yunus is off the mark. Absolutely, Suhas. That is exactly what Mushir has done. India not complaining at this stage. They've had a good grasp of this game. Oh, but couldn't grasp this one. Wasn't a catch, it's being taskmaster there, just being a taskmaster. This is going to trickle away for four. Yudas gets a lucky boundary. And that pretty much sums up his intentions as well in the middle. He's not going to allow the bowlers to dominate him. He's on the lookout for runs. A wild flash outside off. And that just raised over second slip. Full marks to the Indian skipper to keep a slip. Keep two rather. And that almost paid off. Ideal delivery for Mushir to get a reply. 36 overs gone. 1, 3, 6 for 5. to continue he's been very successful this morning a couple of wickets for him he's made it count yes India in the driving seat five wickets down for Afghanistan 136 on the board it was stuck a bit in the middle and then the spinners came in did the job Ashin has been pretty consistent with his line and length so far this is his seventh over Short and wide. Work to do for the field at third. And they'll settle for a single. Always fell. There was a second for the arm. It's a good looking shot to start off. Numan tries to go for an upper cut. 
as rightly said they could have pushed for the second settling for a single in the end good recuperation from the third man fielder Tries to just fend at that one. That was a shot of length delivery. Almost kissing the outside edge again. Going to the keeper's glove. And this is where Numan has to come in. Just have a word with Yunus Singh. Hang on. Hang around. Don't get frustrated. We need to score big. We need to make full use of the next 15 overs. They need to keep chatting. Yunus is new. And Arshan is riding on a sea of confidence with two wickets under his belt. Slightly fuller, aimed towards the stumps as well. Gets uh, some bat involved. In a bit of a quagmire here, team Afghanistan. And just looking at Yunus's approach, he gives you an impression that he's not the ones to stay quiet for long. He will take his chances. This is where India comes in, the bowlers and the fielders. And I'll tell you what, we have a contest on hands. Yunus will go after the Indian bowlers. Short delivery tries to just angle his bat away. Finds the gap. Finds one more for his team. Quick reminder to all of viewers, this is the ACC Men's Under-19 Asia Cup 2023. Eight countries taking part in this. Take a look at the delivery. Just using the pace on that occasion there, Yunus gets a single. This is the Ule fixtures currently underway. At two grounds, ICC Cricket Academy, Oval 1 and Oval 2, India playing Afghanistan here. And in Oval 2, it's Pakistan versus Nepal. Oh, that has been hooked away. Has it gone all the way? No, it hasn't. Has he dropped a catch in the deep? It looks like he has with the way he's thrown the ball back. We'll wait for a confirmation. Looks like... I'll tell you what, if this is a dismissal, it's a little bizarre and strange. The fielder did not really celebrate after taking the catch and just threw it back. And then he reminds everybody, what's the fuss about? I've taken the catch. It's a wicket. Oh, this is, I'll tell you what, a comedy of errors. The empires as well. Ghazi Sohail and Rashid Riaz in a discussion with Captain Uday Saharan. And they're getting a confirmation from the fielder as well. And I'll tell you what. Sometimes you need to celebrate. It's pretty nonchalant by the fielder, to be honest. Could have at least passed on the message to one of the fielders. But I think that should be given out because the batter is walking. There goes the sixth wicket for Afghanistan. They are 138 for six. And that brings the end to the 37th over as well. Arshin takes three. Uh, he's been the pick of the bowlers, but I'll tell you what. It's a big wicket of Numan. He was looking good in the middle. And just when he was readying himself for a big score, India has once again accounted for a big wicket. He walks back for 25 and 42. Afghanistan lose their sixth. Arshin takes his third. They are 138 for six after 37. New man in, Nasir Khan, another left-handed batter, the captain himself. So two batters out there in the middle, two left-handers, six wickets have fallen for Afghanistan. Something has to come out here for uh, Team Afghanistan. They have to bring uh, a special knock to get them out of this situation. First run first, they'll just get a single. I'll tell you what happened sometime back with that catch. 
Oh my God, I can talk all day about this. It was a good looking shot, but didn't quite get the distance on it. Got the elevation. Very nice catch in the deep. Takes it, releases it and does not celebrate. And everybody was under the impression that was a chance gone a begging. You see that uh, often when a catch is taken of a free hit delivery. There was no free hit there. And I think uh, there were two ideas in the mind of that fielder. Throws the ball back, but that was the sixth. Dot ball again. Two left-handers in the crease now. Yunus and Nasir Khan. Repair work here for Afghanistan to be done. India piling on the pressure with dot deliveries. That percentage is increasing. And at the moment, India on top and in front. It's the last uh, 45 minutes or so. It's been all India. High percentage cricket from the ballers and the fielders. A bit of a warning, is it, from the umpire? Having a word with the captain. In fact, it's Mushir there. Nicely bowled by Murugan. He's keeping things very tight, keeping it flat, not offering much weight. Stump to stump, we talk in cricketing language. Waits for that delivery, just tries to noddle it away. Another quick fielding effort, no runs given away, super tight. As uh, that brings the end to the 38th over, it's 139 for 6. Afghanistan batting first here today. Plays it away towards the third man, a single taken. Every run counts for Afghanistan, but uh, some uh, expression from the batters would be uh, required as well. And I feel, uh, Dushan, here that Afghanistan have missed the trick. They just got too defensive, and now after losing six, they're in a situation where they can't get too adventurous as well, particularly in the final stages of the game. They have lost wickets in a heap. So neither they have the runs at this stage nor do they have the cushion of wickets to give them that extra bit of impetus. Goes full on the pads. Tucked away, quick single take in. Direct throw could have been close as well. Adarsh, the fielder there. A couple of uh, singles to start off this over. Full marks of the Indian fielding. They've kept the Afghan batters on their toes. There again. Shy the stumps very close to creating an opportunity. And that's how you need to be inside the 30 yard circle. Aims at the base of the stumps as well. Short ball. Absolute variety with the length. Arshin Kulkani in today's spell of balling. He's taken three wickets. The pick of the baller so far. He's got two more overs to come. Maybe this could be the last over of this spell for him. Might be kept towards the end for his uh, last two. And this is the last one. The short one hits the top of his blade. Very uncomplicated with his run-up in action. Arshin Kulkarni keeps it simple, very effective, very efficient. Captain's go-to player. An asset to have in the side. I've liked what I've seen of this young man. Oh, a big swing and a big miss as well. As you rightly pointed out about Yunus, he looks like one of those batters would want to connect big. Tried one, missed that. Yeah, playing across the line on this occasion. That's not a great idea, let me tell you, to a bowler who's got three wickets and angling it again away from you. Captain Nasir knows best what Afghanistan needs at this stage. And for company, he has Yunus, who also likes to take the attack to the opposition. Be 
waiting for something to be fuller not to be short delivery just uh, steered away towards third man for another one India the defending champions taking on Afghanistan they won the title in 2017 two sides loaded with talent and ability and this is certainly a great audition for their future and a great springboard as well to the aspirations of making it big for their respective countries once a quick single sent back rightly so 142 for six after the end of 39 Abhishek was uh, going to continue. 11 of his four overs. He's picked up a wicket as well. Takes a single of the first delivery. There again, inviting the batter into the drive. Unafraid to toss it up. India can attack. They've done well in the field. Afghanistan on the back foot. And in doubt as well. They somehow scratch their heads and reach close to 200. Afghanistan would take that. It's going to be difficult. India is going to make uh, things really difficult for the last four wickets. Oh, that's beat, uh, beaten the batter completely. Smart captains here as well with two left handed batters in the middle. Bring in the off spinner. Udai Saran Poon has won a thinking cap today. There again, just about inducing an edge. There's a slip in place just for that. Murugan is doing a fine job. Last ball of the 40th, which will bring the end to the power play number two. It's going to be a single to end the over as well. Just two of that over. It's 144 for six. 40 overs have been bowled. Time for the third power play. So five fielders can be allowed outside the 30-yard circle. It's going to be interesting to see whether India takes it or not. They're better off with the attacking field set, the attacking mindset. Uday Sharan, the captain himself. Gentle medium paces here. And I'll tell you what, expect quite a few cutters off cutters particularly with the left-handed batters comes in with a very innocuous action at the time of delivery beg your pardon Uday Saharan is his name yes that's going to be his channel and the cutters that's for sure the keeper is standing up which means it's not going to be too pacey that's lobbed up <laughs> And a bit of a misfield will probably allow the batters to take a single. That's exactly what happens. There was no single in that. That should have been stopped. India has been very sharp on the field this morning. They've been brilliant. Yunus has to be the man to hit some shots. That's directed towards the stumps. Defended. There's long on, long off in place. There's also deep square leg.
two is the call. They run in the first run fast. Oh, throw, throws it at the wrong end there, Raj Limbani. Yes, spot on. It should have been the, the keeper collecting the ball. Was backed up quite a long way, Nasser. But was safe in the end. Cuts this and uh, does he find the gap? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. And uh, he doesn't even find a single run. Good effort at point. Got some fingers on it. Got his hand on it. A palm on it. Just took the pace off it. Two runs of uh, Uday's first over. 41 gone. It's 146 for six. Jump sheet, the opener, 43 of 75. Uh, he was very well set, but uh, it was Abhishek. He took his wicket completely castled and bamboozled the batter there. And uh, after that, it's been uh, a job of rebuilding this innings, which has not stopped yet. Another single. Uh, if you're an Afghan cricket fan, and had you looked at that batting card, all the top five batters got into double figures, but none of them capitalized. None of them converted them into big scores, and that's where the problem lies. The conversion rate matters a lot in any format of cricket. They just threw it away after putting in a price in their wicket. Nicely punched. Another one. Couple of singles at the first two deliveries. Yes, rightly said. Conversion is the key, especially when you're transitioning from the shorter format of the game to ODI cricket. And uh, this is also a learning curve for everybody who's taking part. Down the leg side, easy pickings. Might push for the second, just one. Just one. India will not be bothered or disturbed much with this partnership at this stage, simply because all the runs have come in singles. They're happy giving it away. There again. Just trying to put that away. Moving towards the business end of this first innings. 149 on the board. Tries to uh, just tuck it away and uh, go for a quick one. No runs there as well. Last three overs just gave away six. This over has given away three. So, so nine runs of 3.5 overs. And that's been a, a main cause of concern. Inside edge. He scored a lot of runs from the edges today. 150 comes up for Afghanistan as 42 overs comes to an end. One hundred and fifty five dot deliveries just about sums up which team has dominated proceedings in the middle. India has practically controlled things, and that's where Afghanistan have just failed to get going. Their struggles are well documented, and now it's over to Yunus and Nasser to get them as many in the remaining forty eight deliveries. Incredible statistic that one fifty five dots accounts for twenty six overs of no runs out of 42 overs. That's like 70% of overs going for no runs. That's an edge, is it? Yes, it is. Naman picks up a wicket, gets the faintest of edges to the keeper's glove. The woos continue for Afghanistan as the seventh falls. It's 150 for seven. And once again, it's that back of the length delivery that does the trick for India under 19. We talk about hard length, just trying to guide it down third. Straightforward catch for Ravali there. 
as Nasir, the captain, has to depart for 5 and 21 deliveries. Afghanistan lose their 7th. India pretty much in control of things in the middle in the driver's seat. Afghanistan 150 for 7. Hundred fifty for seven and in walks another new batter for Afghanistan. Just three more wickets to be taken by Team India. What a performance this has been. Defending champions playing like one. And now almost all their bowlers picking a wickets as well. Naman who started off proceedings in today's game. He's come back for his uh, second spell, in fact his third spell. And has picked up a, a wicket. Wahidullah Zadran, the new man in. Well, Afghanistan have clearly shown the intent, but they've lacked the execution in their batting department. They've just been caught in the conundrum of scoring or staying, and in the process, wickets have fallen in quick succession. India have stuck to their plans, taken their catches. Have been very good in the middle. Added a lot of spark in the field. And Naman, he continues from where he left. Massive appeal for LBW. I was not uh, heading towards the stumps, but that was a peach of a delivery from Naman. Hits the right boot of uh, the new man in. Oh, yeah, and a good decision by the end of it as well. Vahidullah just about checking his foot. All three stumps exposed. There's no way going to crash into the stumps. Vahidullah decided there's never going to be a single in it. His partner is saying, I need strike at this stage. Yunus was halfway down the pitch. That's what happens when a new man comes in. You lack the communication and coordination sometimes. Absolute testimony of a toe crusher from Naman. Vahidullah who's just walked in. Is probably not going to walk out the same way. The afternoons does get a little hot. The sweltering heat can be felt. I'm not surprised that the players will need to just hydrate themselves every now and then. The mornings and evenings are very pleasant here. Test of skill, test of fitness, endurance. All well, the youngsters, the 19 year olds and the teenagers are put to test. In every possible way. Afghanistan fighting hard. They need a sizable total to defend. They need some cushion for their bowlers. India have just kept things simple. What a toss to win for their Saharan. Decided to bowl first. And they've made the most of the occasion. Just they haven't looked back ever since. What a performance this has been. And everybody has come to the occasion. The spinners, the pacers, the fielders. And you can see from the results right now. It's going to be changing voices in the meanwhile as well. So it's 150 for the loss of seven. Good fight back by Indian team. We 
Yunus has been joined by Wahidullah who is struggling to open the account. I am I'm joined by Suhas Vedam. Welcome Suhas. Thank you Mudassir. 150 for Afghanistan but it's the wickets column. It's the wickets column that stick too far. It's a similar looking delivery this time didn't offer the bat Wahidullah. Nothing much for the fast bowlers as well as the spinners, but these bowlers, the young lads of Indian team, really bowling well. They have created the doubts in the minds of the Afghanistan batters. And clearly, we can see the top order. They spent some quality time, but after that, it has been a one-way traffic. A lot of the batters spending time in the middle, which is good but not kicking into the next gear. Slip in place as Uday Saharan wants to go for the kill. Hits the timber. Naman Tiwari, subdued celebrations. Wahidullah walks. He's a, in a hurry, Naman Tiwari. Wicket number two for him. Oh, Wahidullah departs without troubling the scorers it's 150 for the loss of eight just kept it straight and simple a couple of deliveries ago the ball tended to follow this time pitches remain straight Wahidullah Zadran departs without troubling the scorers 150 for eight Khalil Ahmed You've moved the bat like a violin bow to play the most intricate of notes. Lucky that it didn't touch the bat at all, that cricket ball. Full mark should be given to the captain of Indian team, making those changes at the right time, bringing the fast bowlers. And Naman Tiwari, a double strike in the previous over. Now, Raj Limbani looking to fetch one more wicket. No way near the ball, no feet movement. In a strong position, India. Just a couple of partnerships which were looking threatening for India team. First it was Jamshed getting some runs. This was the previous wicket of Wahidullah. No way near the ball, making room. An easy job done by Naman Tiwari. The bat turning in his hand a little. I wonder what the message for Yunus is at this stage. Does Yunus does does Yunus stay there and ensure that Afghanistan do not get bundled out and they play the entire 50 overs? Collect the extras as well, apart from the runs they score. Or does he say not much batting to come? Go for the flashy shots. If it connects, well and good. I think the message from the dugout would be to bat till the last ball and later on after a couple of overs he'll be looking to target the fast bowler as well Yunus but a good comeback I would say from the bowling of Indian team spinners doing an extraordinary job in the middle overs not giving away easy runs the fast bowlers now getting the reward 
Full toss. Almost a wicket taking delivery. Didn't time it at all. Couldn't put away the gift that he did not know that he was going to receive. A juicy full toss. But just a single. So India versus Afghanistan under 19. Only two teams were able to win this Asia Cup. India winning eight times and Afghanistan beating Pakistan in 2017. But this is a tough group. Afghanistan, India, Pakistan and Nepal. Absolutely right. And as far as the home country UAE is concerned, which has grown from strength to strength in cricket at all levels, He'll face off against slightly weaker side, but not much. 151 for 8. Namanthi Varvi to continue. Bouncer first up. That's a wake-up call. But what it does is it curtails your options as a bowler to bowl that again because it's a limited commodity, the bouncer. The first ball, a bumper. He's setting up the batter here. Namanthi Varvi throughout the day we have seen sticking to that back offline delivery and out of nowhere bowling those in swingers and getting a reward in the previous over now 151 on board so has what kind of total do you think Afghanistan will post just a couple of wickets in hand they can get to 180 at least by sticking around and that shall be the key good delivery from Naman we were discussing with Asura about about the second group, UAE, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Japan. Firstly, UAE, the home side, would be mighty pleased to be in this group compared to the one it was last time. This is going to be competitive, mind you. Bangladesh and Sri Lanka, they're no mugs with a bat and ball. This is a golden opportunity for UAE team. I think to take away from Japan, but UAE team has an upper hand. And if they can have one good outing, either against... Sri Lanka or Bangladesh, you never know, they can end up in the semi-finals playing against India or Pakistan. Yeah, what the World Cup at the highest level taught us is that you can never write a team off and Japan would want to say to the world that we are here for a reason. It's going to be a big learning curve, come what may, for the Japanese in cricket. Absolutely, it's a stepping stone for them qualifying for this Asia Cup tournament. As we have seen... The visible progress of Afghanistan. Hope in the coming years Japan will be a good side. But I'm actually looking forward to watching Koji Hargrave a bit. Kazuma Charles Hinze out of Tiwari with the new ball. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good watching them in Dubai conditions. They had a couple of practice sessions here in Dubai and we'll be looking ahead for their encounter against the UAE in New Team Japan. They were the third position in the emerging Asia Cup tournament. Long way to go for Japan for sure. But a bright spot is going to be the Asia Cup Under-19 here by ACC. Oh wow, that didn't have an answer. Naman Tiwari, at his best once again. With a lot of control 
and command namantiwari now looking in good shape what a good rhythm that is the reason suhas was talking high about this young fast bowler came into the eyes of selectors playing kuch bihar trophy for the final ball of 45th over struggling to find a boundary here yunus will be eyeing to get some runs on the final ball of this over nicely bowled fuller a quick single has been taken excellent running between the wickets oh, this a sloppy work by the wicket keeper but yunus says let me keep the strike in the next over 45 done it's 152 for the loss of 8 152 for 8 and 45 overs you created that arc there the fast bowlers of india where they taking the ball away suddenly from afghanistan there was a phase of the game where they were taking the ball towards the batters a wild swing on the very first ball of this over the intentions are very clear from yunus and now forcing the indian captain to make a change in the field the square leg goes back on the rope a fine leg and deep square leg two field station outside 30 yard circle on the leg side change of pace misses the line completely good piece of bowling yunus is making his intentions clear wants to go for the big shot get some momentum going try and provide a good finish to afghanistan's innings raj resorts to the slower delivery and i just get a feeling with us we're going to see a lot more of this keeping it slightly away and then slower three deliveries in the over so far by raj none of them similar absolutely and good to see a youngster a thinking mind mixing up his deliveries not giving any clue to the batter is expecting him to bowl a bit fuller but he's going with back off length can we see a yorker now slower and this will be put away as he was waiting for the slower delivery the timing just enough a boundary that will be greeted afghanistan move on to 156 yunus gets a move on at last four time lucky missing couple of opportunities this time connects well no protection in the deep a much needed boundary for afghanistan and a boundary for yunus he moves to 19 he's so strong in the mid wicket region yunus again aims the same misses it completely this time raj has gone back to the full pace delivery that sets this up nicely for the last ball but that's what's it going to be does he go full does he go slightly back of the lane i think he'll stick to that back off length he doesn't want to give that easy single he wants khalil to be on the strike there's a deep backward square now and mudassir has called it right once again where is the crystal ball 46 overs gone 156 for it
156 for eight. Naman Tiwari, no prizes for guessing will continue. Nai puts his hand out. That has saved a couple of runs at least, but has given him a stinging sensation. Does that pain feel sweeter now that he's stopped it? It was firmly hit back towards the bowler. Oh, he has a chance to get one more wicket in his kitty, Naman Tiwari. Khalil not much known for his batting skills desperately looking to rotate the strike here just watch his action full toss and the opportunity missed doesn't carry to Arshin either. But a very rare mistake from Naman Tiwari. On the ball that York covered a slight error. A low full toss. Not able to put in the gap. So a couple of dot deliveries. I'd love to see him bowl a couple of Yorkers or even slower ones to Khalil. And finish up the tail quickly for... Afghanistan where in they are eyeing to get one or two big overs. White ball signaled. Naman Tiwari realizing that a bouncer is a two-edged sword. Extras have been a big concern for India team. 18 extras so far. 16 wides, one no ball. And one leg by so easy runs have been conceded yet again trying to fox the batter on the back foot a bumper goes over the head of the batter slightly widish deep mid wicket slightly wider now he's moving towards his left does he want to shake hands with a wide long on now a single it's stolen even if you walk towards the other end still called a run in our game <laughs> an all important a much needed single to get back Yunus on strike on 19 of 33 balls. At the fag end of the innings. And extra pace is what Yunus is looking for. Will they come back for the second run here? It is on. One for the shot, one for the throw, which was very wild indeed. Well tamed. In the end, it was a run. Limbani, a fast bowler, culprit giving away easy run. Full marks should be given to these two batters running hard, converting those singles into doubles. And slowly moves to 160 Afghanistan with those couple of runs. Interestingly, Raj was the only fielder who was sitting deep near the boundary rope. Everyone else is at least seven yards inside. It's good thinking from Eunice. He's picked the right fielder and the region. He's always ready to come back for the second, just in case it's available. And talking about Raj Limbani, a typical fast bowler thinking, standing at the rope, looking for a water bottle. Not at all. Focus in the game. He was a bit relaxed, bowling that over of the previous one. Nonetheless, some runs coming in for Afghanistan in this over.
tends to bowl this from over the wicket better. Shorter gets away with it as well. 47 gone. 161 for it. One sixty one for eight in forty seven overs. Afghanistan at one stage were staring at being bundled out. Now they've reduced that risk. And Yunus has also managed that odd boundary. Loves to go leg side, loves to go mid wicket. Raj is not allowing him that right line. Right couple of times in the previous over of Raj. Got a boundary on a slower one. Still sticking to that back of length delivery, Raj. There's a big gap towards the left side of the left hand batter. Want to take advantage, misses the line completely. The calls for two. He's got to stick to a single. Good work by Raj, good thinking as a fast bowler, staying back at the stumps. You've got to quickly make your way there as well because in your follow through you're propelled forward. This is the demand of the modern day cricket. Otherwise also, oh that's it. you're the best <laughs> fielder of your own bowling. <laughs> weren't you? Or why weren't you? Aren't you? As a spinner, it's always easy to stay near your stumps and do the backup roll. You started off as a fast bowler, didn't you? Big swing and a miss, and it's becoming a ubiquitous sight. Khalil wants to go leg side as well. It's something that's very natural for everyone who picks up the bat for the first time to slog towards the leg side, and then the technique comes. Then the coaches tell you to play straight. A typical. Number 10 batter shot. Wanted to go big. One more time. This time connects. Top edge. Ball racing towards the fence. Much needed boundary. Four runs for Khalil and more runs for Afghanistan. If you can get the intended result. And no questions asked. The region of the bat doesn't matter. Region of the ropes doesn't matter. And of course, the scorecard never differentiates. Much needed boundary for Afghanistan. He was miles away from this one. I think he was expecting the ball to follow him. As COVID-19 is over, but still there is social distancing between bat and ball. A big heave towards that leg side, nowhere near the ball. Good to see some serious pace has been generated by Raj. Can we see a Yorker? He tried those back off line deliveries, not working in his favor, going for boundary. An ideal delivery to bowl Fuller. To number 10 batter knocks those stumps. Good slower delivery. He was through with the shot and then the ball took its own sweet time to arrive. 166 for 8.
166 on the board with 12 balls left. Two wickets in hand for Afghanistan. Yunus is in form. Khalil struck a boundary. Swing and a miss is the phenomena that seems to be continuing. Someone needs to talk to Yunus and tell him there are other areas as well on the field where you can get those runs. Just wanted to go towards that leg side. Missed a couple of times in the previous over but not learning from his mistakes. It's something that comes naturally to him as well. He's connecting every fourth time or fifth time. If he can improve that, it's a different story altogether. And does he offer a trigger movement here? There's very little trigger movement. Next side, oh, this has been put down. This is a rare side from Pandey. He's one of the best in Madhya Pradesh. An ordinary effort. Survives the batter. Could have been easily wicket number 9 going down. You got a feel for Naman. He's picked up two wickets all right. You got a feel for him. There was a third wicket lurking. Did everything right. Oh, good ball. He's, he's also rolling his fingers over the cricket ball, so reducing the pace on it. Hence, it's not bouncing as much to be called a wide. He has been called for wide in his previous over now. Just rolling the fingers and doing the right thing. Not being greedy to go for those wickets. Sticking to all those dot balls, not giving away easy runs. It's been a long time since we've seen such a slow, good Yorker. Somehow, just somehow, Khalil was able to offer the bat to it. Naman Tiwari has got a lot of cards up his sleeve. For just 27 runs into his last over of the game, he has been brilliant with the new ball as well as in the death overs. Suddenly, the full tosses, lower full tosses, have become more effective too. Naman's got one more delivery to make an impact. There was an opportunity for Yunus to go over the mid on. So, for the one final time in this game, Naman Tiwari. Khalil so as was talking about 180 now just 11 away from that 180 a good partnership between these two worth of 19 that's in the air but will fall safely Murugan Abhishek never lost sight of the ball mind you and Naman Comes excruciatingly close to picking up a wicket again. Ends with figures of 2 for 30. Miles up in the air. There was a half chance. A slight fumble resulting in an extra run. So a couple of runs to end that over number 49. It's 171 for the loss of 8. Six deliveries left in the innings. Well, he was flirting a little bit with a wide line.
gets away there Raj because with that angle as well I felt that the ball was going further away from the batter who was backing away too in the end a tot ball that's what matters for India and Afghanistan they can entertain thoughts of 185 perhaps they'll be happy with that finish this is good thinking from Raj he saw the trigger movement of Eunice who was trying to cover the stumps to access the leg side even more setting himself up for the swivel misses it completely uh, good mind games and good piece of bowling though he has a protection in the deep boundary line he's bowling onto the off stump change of pace using those cutters keeping it away from the left-hander so a couple of dot deliveries a single is a good result at this stage as far as India are concerned and the more attacking of the two batters Eunice is at the non strikers end as well three more balls left in the innings and it will be Khalil number 10 batter will be facing Raj will be able to get a boundary here last door of Raj he has got a boundary can he repeat the feat in this over connects well but an excellent try was dipping in front of the fielder a tough chance but a good effort It's the final over. No opportunities will come. Raj doesn't linger in the past. All set to bowl the next. This is begging to be taken. And Raj has called for it himself. Will pouch the catch. It's never easy. He was running backwards a little too. Oh, that hammy. He's just completed a catch but the mood changes suddenly because he's an asset for the entire tournament and it's just the first game. A good catch and a good innings of Yunus comes to an end. It's not easy as a fast bowler backpedaling, turning around and taking those skyers. An excellent catch to get rid of. Muhammad Yunus, who made 26 of 44 balls with the help of two fours, it's 173 for the loss of nine. Bashir Ahmed Afghan the final batter to face the final ball that is if it's a legal delivery Both the fast bowlers of India team doing an excellent job Raj the one last time in this innings running in it will be Bashir Afghan on strike Nox Timber Bashir's got to depart. Afghanistan fold for 173, but they do survive the 50 overs. But only just about. He had to go for the big shot. You miss, I hit. As simple as that. But 173 is what Afghanistan under 19 has managed. Mission 174 will start soon for India. An excellent comeback by the fast bowlers of India team, especially in the fag end of the innings, 
Naman Tiwari and Raj Limbani doing an extremely good job for India team and Afghanistan bundle out the final ball of the first innings managing 173 asked to bat first by India team Afghanistan they started off really well Jamshed managing 43 Wafiullah giving sub support by managing 15 it was Sohil's 12 Akram and Noman also contributing with the bat but Yunus stayed till the end managing 26 and 18 extras helping Afghanistan to get to that 173 in their allotted 50 overs. Absolutely right. Everybody getting starts but nobody really converting, especially the engine room. And Naman picked up two wickets. Raj was looking good with his three as he picked up one more eventually. Ashin with his three wickets, especially during the middle overs. I felt that Ashin's sudden spurge, that spurt of extra bit of pace helped. The spinners bowl well too. Murugan, Moshir. Now, as far as the partnerships are concerned, 49 between Jamshed and Sohail is when they steadied the ship after Rafiullah's departure. Then Akram and Noman were able to put together 43. A tad bit slow, but that's what was required at that situation. But it's again the middle order faltering and too much pressure as far as Yunus is concerned towards the end. 173 is what they've managed in a 50 overs Afghanistan at 90. Start off really well, both the openers getting some boundaries. Wafiulla was looking dangerous, but trying to go big. He lost the shape. It was first to get to go down. Raj getting his first to get then Mushir Khan was brought into the attack alongside him. The medium fast bowler getting a couple of wickets, and after the second wicket, there was a good partnership for Afghanistan. 49 runs partnership between these two batters trying to steady the ship and trying to get some runs in the process just losing the shape jump shade was the third wicket to fall to Murugan but then I felt that it was a glorious moment for Afghanistan under 19 while get while they got momentum by peppering the boundary ropes suddenly with Aravali taking that catch as well, it became more difficult and difficult. Mushir trapping the batter in front only created more problems because they were always searching for momentum and playing catch-up cricket after that. The stylish shots were there, but not on that occasion. Norman putting it down as well. And as luck would have it in his bowling as well, a catch was put down. That was sensational from Naman though. That's, that was the problem for Afghanistan and here he backed himself to clear the ropes while going inside out, missed it completely and then wickets started to fall. Yunus was the only glimmer of hope to provide a crescendo finish if required. Yunus was able to strike a couple before this happened. A good catch where he never lost sight of the ball. And then Raj finishing it by hitting Timber. So there's confirmation. 174 required in the allotted 50 overs for the men in blue. The Indian under 19 side. Will they be able to get there? We'll be with you for every ball of that run chase in just a moment's time.
Hello, good afternoon and welcome. We are at the halfway stage of game number one from Group A between India and Afghanistan. We are coming to you live from the ICC Academy Oval Ground 1. Afghanistan put into bat have managed a meager 173 in their 50 overs and India will be in hot pursuit of 174. Put into bat, Jamshid and Wafiullah were just about finding rhythm and momentum when Wafiullah departed Raj Limbani with that wicket early on for India. Jamshid scored 43, he was the highest scorer for them. Quite a few batters got into double figures, Sohail Akram, Numan and Yunus. But unfortunately, none of them got going and converted that into a sizable score. By the end of it, they lasted 50 overs. In fact, the last wicket fell in the 50th over, the last delivery, as they managed 176 at a run rate of 3.46. But the extras certainly helping their cause as they got to 173. Quite a few bowlers used, as many as seven. But the pick of the bowlers quite certainly was... Arshan Kulkarni, 3 for 29 for him. Naman and Raj as well in their 20 overs gave away only 76 runs and accounted for 5 wickets. So they as well lending a lot of support with the ball, the new ball bowlers. So this means we are all set for the chase now. Indian batters will come out. They need to get that magical 174 in 50 overs. So this is going to be that kind of a chase where they will not bat with any kind of pressure. That asking rate as well will be well within their grasp. I'm Mikhail Vaswani and uh, joining me in the com box is Muda Surali, my co-commentator. And we'll be taking you through the next seven overs, or rather the first seven overs as the Indian openers make their way to the middle in this all-important chase. Good afternoon, Muda Sir. Good afternoon, Mikhail. And good afternoon to all of our viewers. Day one of Asia Under-19 Championship. We're coming live from ICC Cricket Academy, Dubai. A good job done by the bowlers of India under 19, restricting Afghanistan to 173 and to chase down the target of 174, it will be Adar Singh, the left-hander. Alongside him will be Arshin Kulkarni. It will be left and right hand combination, top of the order for India team. Three slips and the right hander, it's Arshin Kulkarni. India do have a very strong batting lineup and they'll be eyeing to take those two points and to start this tournament with a big win against Afghanistan. It will be Bashir Ahmad Afghan to start the proceeding with the ball for Afghanistan. We are all set for ball one in this chase. In comes Bashir. And immediately he draws a lot of swing. Three slips in place. Afghanistan want to attack. Despite having a very small total to defend, they believe attack is the best form of defense. Adarsh and Arshin in the middle. And Bashir immediately has shown that he can get that ball to move. The field is standing. The slips are all over the batter here. Putting some extra pressure. Good to see some movement for Bashir Afghan. Keeping that in mind. The captain providing him three slips. Good carry. Very good carry there. Extracting good bounce. The first one. Left the left-handed batter, Miles, and this one just climbing on him. And I'll tell you what, if Afghanistan have to make a match of it, they have to make an event out of every delivery, Mudassir. Oh, absolutely, and he started off really well. It's just a matter of time to get that edge of the blade of Adarsh. So far, two balls have been up to the mark from this fast bowler. Just like the intent, just like the approach of Afghanistan. Three slips in place and they're telling their bowler and the captain is just about telling his fielders we are going for the kill. Showing some intent out there in the middle. Afghani boys, though they have posted just 173, they know if they can get a couple of early wickets, 
they have the chance to defend this target Those will be the first runs on the board for India. It came in similar fashion for Afghanistan as well. Curtsy a wide and India as well off the mark with that extra. I feel like a watch and wait game for Adarsh. It's just a small total. The Indians are chasing out here. 174 what they are looking against Afghanistan in the first encounter of this tournament. Make that two in a row. Adar Singh, in the last five games, he's managed a 15-92 against Bangladesh under 19. But uh, he's gone quiet after that innings. Scores of 7, 26 and 5. This should be a good outing for him to just come back into form. Bashir once again trying too much. You've got to get that ball closer to the batter. Just losing the shape, trying to get a wicket here, trying out too many things, Bashir Afghan. Not in command, he was forced on the back foot, a good ball, but off the mark, not in a convincing way, Adash with the boundary. Well, Bashir is mixing brilliance with mediocrity in the middle at the moment. This one, just hurrying on the batter. Just caught him by surprise and no position to play that. By the end of it, he had to fend it and just get bat on it. Very lucky. Good contest here between Bashir and Adarsh. Oh, this one coming back in. Last minute, Adarsh deciding to let it go. The batter was caught in two minds whether to leave it or whether to play. A brilliant over from young Bashir Afghan asking some serious questions to Adarsh. This was just nipping back into the left hander. Getting some advice. Miss Captain Bashir Afghan, the final ball of the first over. This time straying down leg. Work to do for the field at fine. That's race away. That's another boundary. Two boundaries coming in the very first over. This has been a good start for India. And they're making little work of the target at the moment. Ten on the board after over number one. Ten for no loss, India. Adarsh has had some luck going his way and has played some good shots as well. Not surprised with spin very early when it comes to Afghanistan. They've always employed this approach. Wahidullah Zadran missed out with the bat. He'll want to make the most of it with the ball. He'll bowl the second over. And it's going to be Arshin Kulkarni who was brilliant with the ball early in the day. Three wickets for him. An off-break bowler. It's long gone and deep square leg to field station outside the 30-yard circle. Deliberately played towards the third man region. Straight away off the mark. Off to a good start. Getting those 10 runs in the first over. The India team has a very good opportunity to finish the game in quick time. 
so that it will help their net run rate. India, Afghanistan, Pakistan and Nepal in Group A. Two teams will be qualifying for that semi-finals. On the back foot, punch hard into the gap. Chase by Khalil. Couple of runs. Excellent timing and placement. Vahidullah, similar action to a bowler from his country. Just about reminding me each time he's coming onto the crease to bowl. Well, Mujibur Rahman as well has a similar approach, similar style as well. Ambitious. Not much of a jump in his bowling, in his stride. Just skids onto the crease, Mudassir. A bowling with the seam and trying to get into the left-hander. Good use of the wrist. Excellent work by the final leg fielder. Because sometimes I wonder, you don't have much facilities back home in Afghanistan. But you see the amount of talent they have in the spin department. But Mudassar is changing. They're getting everything. It's a very proactive Afghanistan cricket board. Another very fine fielding effort. Wickets is the way forward for Afghanistan in this game. They know it. They need to keep attacking. And just coming back to the talent on offer and display. Well, certainly Afghanistan cricket is an all-time high at this stage. And they've just grabbed the attention from the cricket world with some very fine cricket in recent years. Driven on the up. Beautifully placed. Timing, elegance, everything in it. Enough legs to go for a four. What a shot from the bat of Adarsh. A good looking shot and ends the over with the boundary. Goes towards that offside. No chance for the mid off fielder. With that four runs, India moves to 17 at the end of over number two. Adarshan Arshan. But it's, it's Adarsh who's uh, been the more dominant partner and has looked very elegant. That last drive through extra cover was an absolutely delightful hit. And that's what you need your top order batters to do. Just bring in some class in all the carnage that we see. Bashir into his second. Oh, that's a... That's a delivery that... Will just about give Arshin an opportunity to flex his muscles. It could be the free hit on offer. He's gone for the boundary in his previous over's last ball. Now started off the full toss beamer and no ball. Wanted to bowl the Yorker. Ball just slipping out of his hands. So now there is an advantage for Arshin to go big. Free hit delivery. And it's Arshin Kulkarni on strike. Arshin looks to go big. Misses out on an opportunity that was into the pads. He knows it as well. You're brave enough to bowl a bit fuller. Coming into the right-hand batter. A wild slog. Bowled really well in the first over. So he has gone for 10 runs. It's been created some doubts. Bowling with a lot of extra pace and getting some swing here. Much better this time holding its line. Bashir is uh, certainly mixing it up well.
this time just coming into the right hand batter but he has been very watchful both the batters technically very sound Adarsh Kulkarni in fact Adarsh Singh and Arshin Kulkarni two batters out there in the middle for India team there again wayward not able to settle into a line we saw that with the Indian Pacers as well and Afghanistan are following suit as well this has been the problem with this youngsters not able to control the new ball to bowling a couple of good balls conceding an easy run has been the problem so far in this game as we have seen in the first inning Indian bowlers going for some extra runs the starting overs now Bashir Afghan leaking some runs four extra so far three whites and no ball Fuller this time that came in gets a thick inside edge work to do for the fielders India will complete a couple of runs so couple of runs was not in command taking that inside edge toward backward square leg the two runs has been taken by these two batters the good thing for India they are going at a good healthy run rate the current run rate of 8.4 Another single down to third. Arshin carries the reputation of being a very big hitter. And at the moment, he's just about kept things very simple and quiet in the middle. As a batter, you need to know when to go after the bowler and when to show some respect. He knows he's bowling really well, Bashir Afghan, so not taking any chances against him. Arshin Kulkarni, smart enough to rotate the strike. 22 on board full of this time in the air and it's taken Bashir strikes Afghanistan celebrate Adarsh has to depart and Afghanistan are right on top in defending 173 Wonder Boy of Afghan strikes Bashir Afghan for the first time in this game. It was a bit fuller. It was played straight into the hands of point fielder. The on field empire just checking whether it's a legal ball. Not waiting for that confirmation. But they have got that big wicket of others thing. Well, others just standing his ground. The empire is just about confirming. If that wasn't a bump ball on the way to the fielder at backward point from here it looked pretty straightforward but quite certainly a confirmation and visual evidence would certainly add more perspective into this decision of theirs but Afghanistan have got into their huddle they believe they have their man and this is a much needed break for them this is the advantage you have we have the technology in place wanted to have a second look it was a bit fuller first checking for that line oh this could also be where the bowler may have also overstepped and that's the confirmation the empires are looking at has Bashir overstepped? Very hard to ascertain. It's over to the TV Empire to take a call. This angle, it looks a little difficult to ascertain. How far was that foot from the line? idea if they can check from yes this will be a better angle it will give a better look what do you reckon Mikhail 
I rather stay mute for such situations and I'm glad I'm not the TV empire Mudassir these calls are very close calls and I feel this will be given as a decision yes it has been given as out and Adarsh will have to depart it's a very fine call by the TV empire as well getting better off for Adarsh is Bashir Afghan the dangerous Young left-hander walks back. Adar Singh. The first wicket going down, managing 14 of 12 balls with the help of three fours. India, 22 for the loss of one. Rudra Patel walks out at number three at a time where the team wants a partnership. Sometimes these low totals can be tricky targets as well. We've seen so many low scoring thrillers. India does not want to go that line. They want to get home comfortably, want to win handsomely as well. So early breakthrough has been provided by Bashir Afghan. Though he has leaked some runs, he's able to get rid of Adar Singh. It's new man Rudra Patel to face Bashir Afghan for the first time. Two slips in place. Afghanistan have spring in their feet at the moment. This has been a top bowling effort. Bashir with the wicket of Adar who just chipped it to backward point. Yunus with the catch. Anxious moments. Where the bowler may have just overstepped, but that was as well negated as Afghanistan drew first blood. This is turning out to be a very fine contest between bat and ball. India 22 for 1 after 3. And that's why a partnership at this stage can come in very handy for India. It's Group A, India taking on Afghanistan. And at the adjacent ground, Pakistan taking on Nepal as well. Tomorrow we'll have the Group B fixtures. Khalil Ahmed to bowl. So after one over of spin, it's back to pace. Not much of purchase for the spinners on the surface. We saw it earlier in the day as well with the Indian bowlers. Can Khalil add some more wickets to Afghanistan's tally? That's the way forward for them if they have to get going. A bit fuller. Tap and run. The mantra has been very simple. Arshin is known for hitting the ball out of the park. But as of now... Has been very sensible, not at all in a hurry, chasing just to the target of 174. They have that ample of overs and ample of time to settle in, then play those big shots. And he has been joined by the run machine, Rudra Patel. Has recently got the best score of 164. Very talented right hand batter. Very watchful, some swing and bounce. They're trying everything. The Afghani bowlers. A good ball straight into the hands of wicket keeper. The bowlers are doing a pretty good job, but what matters is the total on board 174. I don't think so, it's enough. Oh yes, they don't have the luxury of runs to defend at this stage of Afghanistan, but they have to make the most of what they have with. And that's why, if they can induce a few more wickets, eke out a few more wickets here on, they're certainly in the game. He just plays that over. Wide is third, second slip. Single towards third. Rudra off the mark. A kind of uppercut. 
from Rudra Patel to get off the mark. Waited and opening the face of the blade towards the third man region. Oh, you, sp you spoke about Rudra, the run machine. Well, in the last four games, he has five games, he has a century and three fifties. Scores of 164, 82, 89, not all, and 71. Aggression, intimidation, Afghanistan are coming right into the Indian batters, and this is good cricket. Good to see they're not afraid, these young fast bowlers showing some aggression. Just a matter of time for Arshin to cut loose. Onto the back foot. For a decent over in progress. Just a couple of runs. First change in the bowling. Khalil doing a pretty good job. So the day one of Asia under 19 men's under 19 2023 being played here in UAE Dubai India taking on Afghanistan she's in the target of 174 they have lost to other Singh coming into the right hand batter this time Khalil watchful and using the wrist played towards that square leg and with that single Score moves to 25 for the loss of one at the end of over number four. India 25 for 1 after 4. Very much in control of this chase, but Afghanistan continue to make inroads, continue to ask questions. Bashir 1 for 15 for him, got the wicket of Adar Singh. He'll be on the lookout for more. And that's what happens when you're chasing. The dot ball percentage really does not get on to you, particularly when the target is small. India has that cushion and luxury. Though, though they have lost other Singh, India has plenty of good batters in this lineup against Afghanistan. Wide has been called. He's pushing hard here, Bashir Afghan. And he knows the importance of those wickets to get those quick wickets with the new ball. Just wayward. So far, five extras have been conceded. Appeal, but clearly going down the leg. So good to see, not giving away those easy runs. 12 balls faced by Arshin. So far, not able to manage a boundary. This is a rare sight when Arshin Kulkarni is out there in the middle. like the body language of the Afghanistan bowlers and fielders India just a little tentative after others departure Arshin has looked very solid in the middle this time though driving it way outside off away from his body didn't quite get to the pitch of the ball 
good to see that anticipation and a lot of energy has been put in by these young Afghan boys. It's not about the total they are defending. It's all about you enjoying the game out there in the middle, giving you 100%. Not able to find the gaps. Has been very calm. Arshin Kulkarni. Talking about the options in the bowling, Bashir Afghan has started off really well though he has gone for some runs. He has been able to get better off Adar Singh. Khalid Ahmed started off really well the previous over going for just a couple of runs. Gently push towards that extra cover. So not at all in a hurry. To go after that 174. The good thing is the first game for them. Trying to understand the conditions and the surface. Absolutely, Mudasir. So no hurry, no worry. As simple as that. Four Indians in the middle. Arshan is settling in. Rudra has just walked out to bat. Afghanistan are fighting on. They want to make a match of this. Bashir has looked impressive. End of his third and five for this innings. It's 26 for one. Small little partnership brewing here between Arshin and Rudra. India have lost Adarsh. He's looking good for his 14. Played some very fine hits to the fence. Still a lot of batting to come. India bats deep. They've got a lot of depth in that low middle order as well. Khalil to continue into his second. Nicely bowled. Just got that in. Two slips in place. Afghanistan continue to attack. There's no other way for them. They need to attack. They need to get those wickets in order to defend 173. But it's a tough task. He's out there in the middle. Is the run machine, Rudra Patel, who has been in brilliant form with the bat. A look at that stand and deliver using those wrist dispatches towards the deep mid wicket. The first boundary coming from the blade of Rudra Patel. I'll tell you what, he's been in blazing form. If you have to talk about numbers, he'll make us speechless. That's because he's only been piling up the runs, 50s and 100s. And that shot is just indication the kind of form he's in. Red hot form to say the least. And that shot was once again a shot of authority and audacity. Khalil will feel the pressure. He's conceded a boundary in only his second delivery. Much better. Back of the length. Just hurrying the batter. Mudasu talk about runs. And this man has been the epitome of that. Rudra Patel. Absolutely. And in the previous month he has played seven games. For India B under 19 and got 564 runs. The best of 164 against India A. And he also got 90 not out unbeaten against England under 19. This shows the caliber of this young talented batter. Rudra Patel. Just trying to give that a big big heave. Trying to improvise. Make full use of the field restrictions. No way near the ball. Wanted to play over the mid-off. We always focus on 
the national team, the men's team. This is always interesting watching these young guys performing really well. And this is where the transition from boys to men happened as well. What I've liked about Rudra Mayur Patel is the conversion rate, the hunger. And the fact that he likes to pile the runs on, churn the runs on in the middle. They are back of the length. Anything up, anything close and you'll be punished. Got the boundary and now he has been respectful towards the Khalil. Remember when was the first time you have seen under 19 games? Can you just recollect your memories and let us know when was the first time you have watched India under 19 games? Much better, much better delivery. Not offering any width the room. Oh yes, it's 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 always an interesting scenario, an exciting one to watch the under 19. I need to jog my memory for that. You put me in a spot as always, Mudassar, asking me tricky questions. Six con is 30 for one. The one wicket here for Afghanistan. They have begun well. India a little tentative, taking their time. Six gone, 30 for one as Bashir continues. It's a completely different ball game with us. The ODI format, the T20 format, the test format. Every format calls for different set of skill set. And that's what we're getting to see. And that's what it, these youngsters are learning. With the advent of T20 cricket, you're always tempted to be more adventurous. And take your chances but over here you get to see them leaving the ball should thank their coaches for working really hard on these youngsters very very watchful we are just waiting for your answer, Mikhail. I've seen a couple of encounters in recent times and some very interesting clashes as well in the under-19 when Kohli was leading India, Unmuk Chand as well. That delivery, very lucky. Bashir there, he's just coming back. Did see when uh, Pakistan got the better of India in the finals in 2006 in the under-19. This time though, it should be given wide. Yes, it is. You can't really chance your luck with that line. It belongs to the Empire, remember. A good decision. A quick transformation for this youngster from T20s into the 50 over format. And adjusting well to the format. 18 ball 6 for Arshin. Rudra on 5. A boundary to his name. Sticking to that off stump line, Bashir Afghan. It will be interesting if we can get one into the right hand batter and surprise Arshin Kulkarni. Just an over for the spinner. The second over. Now sticking with the fast bowlers. Bashir Afghan into his fourth over. A wicket to his name. A bit fuller, chasing the delivery. And, and one more dot ball in this over. I think sometimes it's better to play your natural game. He's known for attacking Arshin Kulkarni. After losing other Singh. He has been kept quiet by Bashir Afghan and Khalil.
Uh, brilliant, brilliant stuff from Bashir Afghan. Change of pace, but sticking to that same line and length. Committed on the front foot. Out in two minds. A brilliant delivery. Just falling short of wicket keeper, who has been kept busy by Bashir Afghan. So far, interestingly, just a couple of boundaries in the innings of India under 19. The final ball of the seventh over. A wayward delivery. Second no ball from Bashir Afghan. Is getting carried away looking for that wicket trying too many things so it's a free hit delivery and an extra delivery. Can we see some extra runs? It's Arshin Kulkarni on strike. A wild swing. A good ball to end the over number 7. It's 32 for the loss of 1. And there will be change in the voice in the com box. For the next set of 7 overs, you will be entertained by Suhas and Pradyush. Thank you so much, Mudassar. 32 for 1 India in 7 overs. Six of 23 for Arshin. I think it's the slowest that I've ever seen Arshin play. India losing a wicket early. And Rudra Mayur Patel taking his time as well. Looked gorgeous as he scored a boundary towards the leg side. Welcome, Diyush. Thank you so much. Very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. India trying to chase 174 to win this match. But Afghanistan with a splendid bowling attack and has scalped a second wicket. Wow, what a start to Khalil's third over. The plan works. A very rare failure for Rudra. Now, India suddenly losing their second. This game can open up from here. Just a little bit of an edge and that's enough. Extra bit of bounce. It looked like an effort ball. And splendid work from Khalil. Good catch by Numan as well. Rudra Patel departs for just five. 32 for two. Thirty-two for two. Rudra Pratap, Rudra Patel, Rudra Mayur Patel was the second to go, and now Captain Uday comes to the middle. What a fantastic delivery that was to ball uh, first up in the third over. That is bowling Khalil to Rudra Patel. Sharp bounce of back of a length delivery. Surprised the batter. Gets the outside edge. A brilliant catch. Pretty regulation in the end for the keeper. And there goes the second wicket for Team India. What looked like could have been an easy task for the Indian team to chase this down. They're now two down. With a lot of uh, more work to be done. As Khalil uh, prepares himself for the second delivery. Two slips in place. Springing into action Khalil. Extra bit of pace. What a great 30 minutes 
session it has been for Afghanistan. They have uh, actually enticed the Indian batters to play shots completely out of character, to be honest. It's, it's probably the pitch that has helped the, bat, uh, the, uh, the pace ballers right now, but they've capitalized so well. A very watchful Uday has turned up. And why not? Why not? Khalil's bowling really well. 1 of 7 in 2.3. Indian batters are facing the heat. You don't see Arshin Patel scoring 6 of 23. You don't see Uday Shaharan walking into the middle with the team in a spot of bother. Afghanistan, if they can pick up another wicket here. They'll be on top of this game. And just like that, Khalil making the batters hop. It's been Bashir Ahmad Afghan, to be honest, who's galvanized this uh, second innings of uh, defense from Afghanistan. That's why Khalil getting a, a whiff out of that uh, effort from the other end comes back picks a wicket now he's bowling the captain of the opposition as well and they're chatting and chirping around the batters wants nothing to do with it are they still in the watchful phase not in the attack phase The required rate's not something that's taunting at this stage. It's 4.1, 3.4 the required rate. The rate they've achieved is 4.1. This tells you that no unnecessary risk is required at this stage. However, if you're an Afghanistan and a 19 fan, you are looking at another wicket at this stage. And it'll open the game up even more. India bat deep, mind you. But Afghanistan have always packed a punch. No matter which level they're playing at. First run off that over and first runs for uh, the captain of uh, India under 19. It's 33 for two after eight overs. The captain of India under 19 has just got underway with the single of the last ball will retain strike as well there. How well is Bashir bought? Once again, I think it's it's the required way that's causing Ude not to go after that delivery. This is going to get a whiff of Bashir as well. It's been spot on with his lines and lengths. He's taken for runs, in fact, 18 of them. Some extras here and there. Some boundaries scored initially. But after that, he's come back pretty well. He's pulled things back for Afghanistan. No, you're not watching a replay. It's just that Bashir is so accurate with his plan. Bounce and the carry to the keeper. Immaculate stuff. Left hander. The other batters were dancing as well. It, it was Rudra Patel. Got beaten outside the off stump a couple of times. That kind of played in his head. He was out uh, nicking it to the keeper in the next over. And almost nicking one here, Ode. The margins, I tell you, just keep on shrinking in our sport. This was as close as it can get. Yes, tries to fiddle at it. Misses out completely. Afghanistan making a match 
out of this one, that's for sure. With the Saharan Ashin Kulkarni, two of the better batters for India under 19 out there in the middle. Once again, because the runs required to get is not as much, that becomes an innocuous delivery unless it's a part of a bigger plan. Which with whatever little that I could decipher, I would love to know what you think about it as well. He's kept it wide a couple of times and then come back in. Oh, they almost played and got an edge. Now he's gone back to plan A. Fuller, wider, lets that go as well. This one would suggest that he's trying to set up the batter. It's a game of patience at this stage. With the bat resting on him, it's a game of patience. Calm and composed, Udash Saharan. Last ball of this over, not a single run so far. <laughs> no ball signaled. Nothing wrong with what happened at the striker's end for Bashir. But it's the front foot misbehaving and because of that it's going to be a free hit. Uday who's been there for 11 deliveries for scoring one. Can't get a better opportunity to get going as well. A free hit coming his way. Effort delivery, but he overcompensates with a massive no ball. Overstepping, gets the edge, but turns out he's going to ball another delivery, which is a free hit to Uday Saharan. And uh, eventually, we'll finish off that over. Runs in to ball the free hit. This will be wide. Just moments ago, Uday didn't want to do anything to do with a ball that's not in his zone. Now tries his level best to jump and get some contact on it. And why not? Because it's a free hit. The free hit shall continue. What just happened there? Last two, three deliveries caught us by surprise, that's for sure. Still a free hit. Has to re-ball that. This time gets an edge. And that's going to race away for four. Uday Saharan will take that. Clearly this over is again divided into two for Bashir. Started off well, doesn't end that well. When you slash, slash hard. Not from the intended part of the bat. Nor in the region that he wanted it to, but the result still will make him feel much elated. Nine gone, 39 for two. As far as Bashir's first five overs are concerned, it's been a learning curve. First, being a wayward, little wayward, and then coming back and picking up a wicket. Then testing the batter's patience, and suddenly... That no ball changing things. Khalil starts off with a bouncer. And he's also got a stare. It always helps the fastballer a stare. And the follow through just gets a little longer after that stare. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> he's trying to play an uppercut there. Khalil with his tail up, that's for sure. He's picked up a wicket in the last over. Big one. Rudra Patel. He wants Arshin as well. Arshin Kulkarni scoring a run of every fourth delivery he faces almost. He's accepting the ball onto the bat. Yes, waits on it and steers it away towards third man for a single. Now this is going to be a good contest. With a Saharan who faced his initial five deliveries against Khalil. That was in the last over. Slightly tentative against him as well. 
and he got an edge in the previous over against Bashir. So lots uh, playing in his head right now. That will not present a challenge to anybody. Khalil's efforts go in vain. His ball too good a ball. A jumping Uday, a jumping keeper. Still no chance for anyone. That grew wings. Again, that, uh, that sharp bounce he gets of a back of a length delivery. That's how he picked up Rudra Patel's wicket as well. This time it just bounced up even more higher. And uh, too high for even the batter and the keeper. Flies away for four. By signal by the umpire. When you see such bounce in the 60th over on this track, you feel very happy for the curator, don't you? Oh, now the single's available off the ricochet. Yes, misfielding and an opportunity to take that single. They take it. Good innate coordination between the batters. And that is going to be holding much importance if they have to stitch a partnership here. The last over of power play, mind you. That's why they might uh, take some risks. Just two more deliveries left, though. Boundaries have come via buys in this over. Remember, for India, it's the required rate of 3.2, but for Afghanistan, it's about eight good deliveries. The way the pitch is behaving, of course, they're producing good deliveries. It's going to be interesting to see whether it's going to carry to the keeper or goes over his head as we have uh, seen it in two occasions so far in this innings. They've got two good deliveries out of their way already. Eight more to go as far as Afghanistan are concerned. Eight wickets to take. Oh, well. Gets the support. Khalil. That wasn't the best of his deliveries though. Ten overs gone. 45 for two. Forty-five for two in ten overs. The second power play shall begin. Forty-two for one, Afghanistan at this stage. India forty-five for two. Nothing much to separate these two sides. In fact, India have lost an extra wicket. Wahidullah will come back for his second spell. He went for seven of his first over. Very much uh, resemblance to Mujibur Rahman with his action. You always get ex excited by any spinner that you see from Afghanistan, isn't it? This is so much mystery as well. Wait for... Uh, wait for Allah Muhammad. He's yet to find a place in the playing 11, but wait for him too. I mean, Diyush, there's been no major change in the bowling unit score as far as the under-19 team of Afghanistan is concerned. It'll be interesting if and when Allah Muhammad gets an opportunity as well. But right now it's about Wahidullah. Can he produce a wicket? Afghanistan seems to manufacture these, these world-class spinners every now and then. And uh, this under-19 uh, cricket team could just uh, show us some more as well in the offing. 
There was once a phase where you tried magic trick on Google or a magic show and in the thumbnail you will find Rashid Khan. Absolute magician. No two ways about it. Slide of hand, coin drop, the French drop. Include a googly in there. Tight over so far. Just two off this over. Field spread out a bit. Four fielders are allowed outside the 30. But uh, they are going to stick on with the attacking setup. Last ball. Driven. And nicely fielded. Sliding effort to his left. And uh, just that two run off that over then. It's uh, 47 for two India after 11 overs. Forty-seven for two in eleven overs. Bahidul has just bowled a tidy over. So spin from one and pace from the other. Bashir's bowled five overs. Now it's about Khalil bowling the fifth. Oh, good ball. It's one thing to bowl so full, it's quite another to make it a surprise factor. More than just giving him uh, the fifth away, it's, it's asking Khalil to try and pick up his second. Uday Saharan, Arshin Kulkarni. Any wicket would do right now for Afghanistan. The amount of deliveries these guys have played today. Even when Afghanistan came into bat, that should be a wide, is it? No, it's not. Very close to the batter after it took off. Fine margins, these. Khalil has been able to create the pressure with dot balls, but something or the other not in his favour. And the over ends in the batter's favour. Can he change that template? Is this the over? Oh yes. Was so close to going for it. The indecisiveness. Just trying to flirt with it. Just uh, wades his bat off at the last second. Can't be caught in double minds, especially in a situation they're in right now. There was so much effort put into that shot. He wanted to be absolutely sure that the ball touches grass. System allowed the ball to come closer to him and then just uh, wedges his bat for a single towards third man. Singles will do at this uh, moment of time. At least for the next five, six overs, this should be the approach to the game. Arshin is closed in his cocoon a bit right now. 9 of 29. He's happy staying there. And looks like he's also put the do not disturb card on, on the door. He's allowing the ball to come to him. Isn't it isn't the other way right now. It usually is, but not right now. I haven't seen the expansive Arshin Kulkarni, which has been uh, much talked about. But, uh, it's for a reason. India is in a spot of bother, and that's why such approach. Last ball. Single will be taken, quick running between the wickets and uh, 50 comes up 
after 12 overs. 50 for 2. Team India batting second, chasing 174 to win this match. Fifty for two, India. Five boundaries, a couple of twos. The route they've chosen to fifty. It's hurt them twice. Nasir Khan, the captain, decides to roll his arm over. There's a slip in place. Has to be the next 30 minutes where they will uh, try and find a wicket. Nice front foot defence, watchful. Ventures out. I think that's the riskiest single he's taken and that's not because of bad calling. Yes, advances down the pitch. Nice to see. Arshin Kulkani with some intent. Now on to the captain. Captain versus captain now. Clearly, it's the captain with the ball in hand who's triumphed over there. But only just once again. That's what cricket tells you. You get another opportunity. That was the armor inside half of the blade. This time, covers the line of the ball. And just uh, plants his bat in front of the ball. I know this is coloured clothing, it's a battle of the blues where there's something about this contest that is screaming red ball cricket. <laughs> there is a shade of Steve Smith there. 13 hours gone, 51 for 2. Adarsh was the first to go, 14 or 12, then Rudra Patel departed for five. Those were the two jewels for India, who managed 51 on the board. A slow and steady start from Ashwin, and Captain Uday is taking his time as well. Vahidullah, this is the battle within a battle. Even if you're marginally short, Arshin is going to plonk his back foot and easily put that away for a single. And that's all he's looking for. Now with the uh, spinners bowling in tandem, it's, they've got to run through their overs as uh, quickly as possible. That's why as a batter, you're looking for those singles, trying to push the fielders a bit. Trying to get it late 
as much as possible. Get it under your control. 27 deliveries for his eight. Finds the gap this time. We'll get a single. As the captain of Afghanistan under 19, I'm going to put you in his shoes perhaps. He's, he's started to roll his arm over already. What differently can he do at this stage when he realizes all that the Indians are looking for is just one denomination? The low risk one, a single. I think they have to be slightly more audacious with their fielding setups right now. Understand where they're finding those uh, singles and doubles. Try and attack, try and uh, put some catching positions as well. And the chatting and chirping should not stop as well. This is a good delivery. Nicely tucked away. Quick single taken. Skedaddled for that quick single as well. Now, if, if you're going to give away those singles, that's, not, uh, that's going to take the pressure off the batters. So there, these are uh, small margins where uh, the fielding team needs to cover it up. Very well done this time though. Ends with a dot ball, 55 for 2.
So the drinks break was taken as uh, Team India batting second. 55 for two, chasing 174 to win this match. Change in voices as Suhas takes a breather and joins me in the com box is Mikhail Vaswani. Welcome back, Mikhail. Thank you, Dush. Good afternoon. The chase has been steadied by a fine partnership between Arshin and Uday, the captain of Afghanistan in search of wickets. The target getting closer and closer. And Afghanistan can only take this game forward and go past India if they account for the remaining eight wickets in quick time. Now, just like the body language of the Afghan uh, players, Diyush. Absolutely, and it's been led by some uh, some lethal fast bowling early up, and now it's the captain Nasir. Brilliant delivery there. Very crucial phase in the game. A relaxed captain Uday Saharanpur. Okay, pardon Uday Saharan. Very confident, gutsy lad. Relaxed composure. Fuller this time plays it towards extra cover. They'll get a single. Yes, slightly fuller will be. Just played away towards that V in front. Singles are on offer right now as we spoke about it. Again, very out of character innings so far from Arshin Kulkarni. Oh, that was uh, directed, darted towards the stumps. Gets an inside edge, luckily. Oh yes, as a bowler you need to keep thinking and changing your deliveries. This was quicker, straighter, flatter. Coming with the arm, wide of the crease. Much better. Things are going to help Team India to, to make this partnership go forward as, as much as possible. Two of the better batters out there in the middle. Two of the most experienced lads as well. Could be another single, nicely done. Good backing up by the baller himself. 57 for two after 15 overs. Fifty-seven for two after fifteen. Arshin has uh, maintained a very intense vigil there, opening the innings for his side. Fourteen of thirty-eight. Captain coming and giving him good support. Short and wide, put away. Runs here for the batter. A couple of run runs for sure. Waits on that delivery and just uh, plays a late cut. Couple of runs. Knew where the gap was. Arshin is building his innings pretty nicely now. Oh yes, and they don't have the pressure of a huge target. That's really helping their cause. Yes, knowing that, what, what should be the strategy of uh, Team Afghanistan right now? They have uh, taken two wickets, all right, but they need another breakthrough somewhere in the next five overs, at least. Well, they've done everything right, to be honest, Diyush. They have a slip in place. They've persisted with two slips, one slip. They've always attacked. They have closed in fielders at short cover and short mid wicket. So the approach has been right. It's just that they've not been able to convert it into an opportunity. They've been tidy as well in the field. has to be a special delivery or the batter's making a mistake for a wicket to fall right now otherwise they look uh, pretty sorted that's a beauty the batter definitely did not read it coming back in gets an inside edge luckily falls safe and uh, they skedaddle for a single yeah you, you just try to understand if this was an off spinner or an off cutter because he comes in with a little bit of a stride as well but that was nicely done he has to mix it up. 
Once a single set back and probably a right decision at this moment. 60 for 2 after 16. We get a piece to Bashir and Khalil. The paces started off so well. It's now on to the spinners, Wahidullah and Nasir, to get another breakthrough, make inroads. One towards long on. I like this approach of the Indian batters. Nothing adventurous, nothing risky, just about play the ball to its merit. Nasir continues. Here again, just waiting for the ball and closing the face of the bat and stealing another single. So the last two, three overs, they've allowed the ball to come as close as possible before uh, latching on to the shots. Nicely done. So India happy with the singles and uh, that, that is enough actually to get them home. Exactly what is required. No risk cricket from Team India. But the batters uh, moving into double figures. Well set. They've uh, faced a substantial amount of deliveries to understand what the pitch is doing and what the spinners are doing, what the paces are doing as well. I think there has to be a pace bowler coming in in between to try and see if they can make a breakthrough. We've not seen much turn on the surface. Just having a chat with Suha some time back and his observation was that there is an extra bit of bounce that the bowlers are finding. But as a spinner, the purchase is far and few. Bit of a mix-up there. It was a call from Arshin. Uday did not respond. He did not want that single from the get-go. Last ball of uh, the 17th. Another quiet over as far as Afghanistan are concerned. 17 gone. It's 63 for two. The opening pair, Adarsh and Arshin walked in. Adars uh, was caught by Yunus, which was the first wicket that fell uh, for Team India. And then Rudra, what a fabulous delivery by Khalil. And an outside edge straight to the keeper. And that's, uh, after that, it's been quite a partnership between Arshin and Uday Saharan. Fast delivery, cut away towards the Suipakawa. They'll come back for the second. They'll uh, come back quite easily in the end. Got to run the first run fast. The key lies over there. Put the pressure on the fielder. This time just coming around at Jamshid. Should have actually attacked the ball. Just remind the batters that the second one will always going to be a close call. Well, Arshan has settled into his groove. He's happy playing in the week. Well, that's been the rhythm. The last uh, 20 minutes or so. Doesn't seem like something extravagant is going to happen with the way these guys are approaching the game right now. Just 108 required. Cuts again and does not find the gap. Brilliant effort. The backward point fielder throws himself 
and high fives from all his teammates as well. Great commitment, great energy, great intensity shown by Afghanistan on the field. Poor delivery, very lucky to get away. That half tracker could have been dispatched any part of the ground. Only a single. Yes, the full tosses are going for singles. The long hops are going for singles as well. Making their intentions pretty clear. 52 deliveries since the last boundary. Just goes to show the pace of the game and the approach as well. It's more about caution. Absolutely no aggression. Final delivery of this over. Drives it. Same fielder jump shit will cut it off, throw it back. Good backing up. Just want to end the 18th. It's 69 for two. Saw a ton of extras being bowled in the first innings as well. 13 extras in the second inning so far. They were just inside the first 20 overs. Extras have uh, to be curbed going forward in this tournament. Nasser will continue. Afghanistan have to attack. There's no other option. And India will just want to keep things very simple. Gives the charge, goes high and goes handsome as well. One bounce into the ropes, that's a very fine hit. For a second I felt uh, we are going to see the first six of the match. Just falling inside the ropes. <laughs> Straight away after that... Uh, Shot was fired. There was applause from uh, the non striking end. Arshin Kulkani definitely liked it. This one hurried on to the batter. Works it away towards mid wicket. He wants a second run. And this is very good running by Uday Saharan. This is what you call inspiration and desperation in the middle. Great stuff. I think uh, that fielder was caught napping there. There was definitely no two runs there, but uh, some innate coordination between the batters. Calling early, as you mentioned earlier as well. Running the first one really hard. And coming back for the second, Khalil was the fielder there. Outstanding running between the wickets. The throw could have been much better as well. Now the required runs uh, coming under three figures, 99 required. Yes, no, sent back, but no damage done. And that was a good call. The last thing you need is a run out at this stage if you're an Indian batter or a supporter. And probably the only thing that you need as an Afghanistan supporter to get a wicket going in your favour. Because the batters are uh, not allowing anything to the ballers. A run out opportunity. Safely done in the end. Two more deliveries to go and it's over. Waits. Finds the fielder again. They've scored a boundary of this over already, so they can just hang back and defend it away. Final delivery of the 19th. 
gets an under edge and does not even look at his partner another dot ball to finish off the 19th it's 75 for two Goes for an expansive shot. Outside edge. And just one. Well, Arshin Kulkani this time. Afghanistan need a wicket here. Otherwise, this game is running out of their hands. Look to go big. Got a thick outside edge. The ball's following Khalil today. All eyes on Uday. He's looked very good as well. Nicely, firmly driven straight to the field at mid-off. Pulls that surprise delivery, the faster one, Waidullah. Nicely equipped, the batters. 44, the partnership of 75. That's a beauty of a delivery. Gives it a loop and gets the outside edge. There goes the finger from the umpire as well. Uday Saharan, the captain of Team India, departs. And what a big wicket against the run of play. Afghanistan know how big a wicket is this. They are celebrating. What a delivery by Wahidullah. The previous delivery was the off cutter that came in with the turn. And this one left the batter. The leg spinner, they knew it from the word go. Captain Uday departs for 20-49. India under-19 lose their third. Wahidullah strikes and Afghanistan are just about creating that window of opportunity for themselves in this game. What a moment in the game. India 76 for 3. New man in is uh, Mushir Khan, an electrifying fielder. In the first innings, we saw some of his antics as well with the ball as well. Now with the bat, a much needed breakthrough for Team Afghanistan as uh, the spinner gets the back of Uday Saharan. Poor delivery. Mushir's off the mark with a single, but that could have again have gone anywhere. Well, Vahidullah he mixes it well, brilliance and mediocrity. Look at that half tracker down the leg side. That could have been deposited into the grassy banks of the ICC Academy. They've missed out so many rash deliveries. That's off the back foot, punch straight to the fielder. Again, Wahidullah comes back so well. Look at that. Gives it the loop, gets the outside edge. Brilliant catch behind the stumps. And celebrations all around. Takes it on the full. Goes past mid-off and that'll be four. Important runs here. And Arshin will not miss out on these juicy full tosses. That's a very fine hit. 20 gone, it's 81 for 3.
India won the toss, uh, chose to bowl first. Afghanistan scored 173 all out in their legitimate 50 overs. Now India trying to chase that 174. They've lost their three wickets as well inside the first 20 overs. They still require 93. Got a lot of deliveries coming their way. Got seven wickets in hand. As uh, Mushir, the man on strike, will be facing Nasir. Nicely punched. The sweeper cover will clean it up. Just one. This is the last boundary, full toss, flat batted and smashed with enough power to go just besides that mid-off field. Races ac across the, the green turf to the boundary roads for four. Easy pickings towards the long off. Couple of singles to start off this over. I just like the way Arshin has compiled the innings. So much of maturity laced with a lot of responsibility as well. Never really got ahead of himself while batting. His shot selection has been wonderful and that's how you need to bat as a top order batter. Another single towards mid-wicket. Brings a lot of calmness in the middle, Arshin. And these uh, have been challenging conditions for the batters today. Especially the pitch being uh, slightly in favour of the paces, especially getting those sharp bounces of good lengths. Ball skidding through as well, the ball helping the spinners at times. And that's why a calm and cool head comes ahead as much importance for a batting unit. It's provided that for Team India today. Quicker this time with the arm, Nasir. Oh yes, you've got to play the sheet anchor role, Mr. Dependable Arshan. Clearly playing the role of the most valuable player. Three wickets with the ball and now just about showing how important it is to put a price on your wicket. Spot on. Advances down the pitch. Goes straight, goes hard, goes uh, to the boundary ropes. Second boundary in the last two overs for Arshin Kulkarni. Just like the way he used his feet this time around. The long off is wider and that's what gave him the liberty. Though there was a short extra cover for that, he was very sure about a shot there. Yes, no and they'll quickly steal a single. Good running. Very good cricket here by India. Twenty-one gone, it's eighty-nine for three. Took three wickets, mind you, in the first uh, innings when he came into ball. And now doing it uh, with the bat. Quite uh, a well-rounded match so far for Arshin Kulkarni. Yunus introduced into the attack. Missed out with the bat. Did offer some kind of... Aggressive option. However, it will be important for him to maybe just eke out a wicket or two here. Inside edge. There is an inside edge. That's why no signals from the umpire.
Meanwhile, there's going to be a double change in the com box as uh, Suhas and Mudassir join us for the next session of play. Thank you so much, Diyush. Mudassir joined me as well. Narshin and Mushir. Two young boys who played a lot of cricket with each other as well. Against each other too. Two young lads. Who bowled really well now. Doing well with the bat for Team India. Has the same stance as his elder brother Sarfaraz has Mushir Khan. A bit fuller, but straight towards the mid off. Especially all eyes will be on Mushir Khan. Keeping in mind his brother Sarfraz, who is a run machine in domestic circuit back home in India, scoring those triple hundreds, double hundreds. Moshir himself is sensational with a bat in hand. There's two on offer here. Good thinking, gentle touch, guiding it in the gap, picking up two. It's a different kind of an innings by Arishin. 35, 58, 22 overs gone, 92 for 3. Bowlers used three of them amongst the wickets. A wicket apiece for Bashir, Bahidullah, and Khalil. Khalil's been brilliant from the word go. Tiny, tiny. An easy single available. Now, Mushir. We've seen him at his aggressive best as well recently versus India B under 19. Scoring 127 not out of just 47 balls and then picking up two wickets as well in that game. Mushir, for the first time that the first memory that I have of Mushir is, is in the Maidans of Mumbai. And the next thing I know is he's getting an award from Sachin Ramesh Tindulkar. Sachin Ramesh Tindulkar. The God of Cricket giving him an award at, and how old was he? Mushir, young Mushir was just nine at that, that time. But he was very mature beyond his age. 25 wickets in six matches at that time in the Kanga League as well. And he earned that award. Let's still remember an article about Mushir Khan in 2014 playing Kanga League. After bowling, he used just he used to hide behind the empire. He was a young kid that got those wickets in Kanga. Deliberately played fine towards third man. Continues to get that extra bounce and nicely managed by Arshin. 
and we need to talk a lot about Arshin's batting technique as well as his temperament. So far, calm and composed. It's a longer format. He knows the importance of his wicket. Not in a hurry. But all matters is getting that 174. Afghanistan were 86 for the loss of two at the same stage. Where in India, nine runs ahead and they have lost an extra wicket at the same stage. Ashin and Mushir have added 19. Mushir timed it to a nice city. Oh well. He was teasing the fielder, wasn't he? Mushir was teasing the fielder. Trying to show the world that he was trying to take a single. And then suddenly turns for two. Arshin says, you've got to convey that you're pulling a prank to me as well. You've got to convey. We've got to be on the same page. Very eager to take that second one, but rightly sent by by Arshin. Testing with that bumper and rightly a wide has been called. So India inching closer to that 100 mark. 14 extra so far in this 22.5 overs. Yeah, it's the three no balls that's worrying me. Something that they look to improve, Afghanistan under 19. Full toss for a set batter. Arshin puts it away with disdain. And with the boundary, 100 comes up for India. The end of over number 23. A low full toss and nicely managed. No chance for the fielder in the deep. So ends the over with the boundary. is 101 for the loss of 3 after 22 overs. In fact, 23 overs. <laughs> 101 for 3. Ashin's inching towards a half century. A very slow, steady half century. And just tells you that he, he's got different shades of play as well. I know the viewers would have watched the other Ashin too. It's it's still him scoring 13 sixes, sixes at will. Oh, good adjustment, good adjustment by Mushir. This is great cricket. You got to love this battle. Eunice watching him to the last moment, jumping down the track was Mushir. That's the only time the captain wouldn't mind a wide. Overall, good cricket here, Suhas. Mushir Khan coming out of the crease and nicely done by Eunice. And well negotiated by Mushir Khan. Driven fumble. The dot delivery. At one end, Arshin is very calm and composed into his 40s. Wherein, young Mushir, who is in single digits, he wanted to go big. In a hurry, Mushir Khan Wanted to go hot hotel room early and have a piece of zatar, as my co-commentator Suhas is looking for. You had to bring that up, isn't it? And you'll be getting a bonus as well with a piece of zatar. You'll enjoy the kunafa of Dubai. Sure, why not? Oh, that's a good shot. This is Mushir at his best. Free flow of the arms. And a boundary in the chosen region. Brilliant looking shot. Mushir Khan. 
the little dynamite a bit fuller and goes over the deep extra cover one bounce four runs good adjustment this is good trade all around once again yunus not allowing the batter to get underneath it as much as possible at the moment india making easy work of this still 66 to get a wicket at this stage is crucial for afghanistan The over tends to continue for Yunus. Mushir was looking for that single. Always on toes. The final ball. It will be just a single but a good over coming in for India. With that single. It's 110 for the loss of 3 after 24 overs. Bashir Wahidullah Khalil one apiece. I think it's it's time to bring back Khalil. He's been the most impressive. And that's exactly what the captain's done. And this is why he's been impressive. He's got this knack of bowling the heavy ball as well. He's got this knack of bowling the heavy ball as well. But that's it. Khalil. Raw talent. And he has been very impressive in the first spell as well. Got a wicket to his name into his sixth over. Uh, looking good. Trying to get rid of the well-settled batter, Arshin. Who's batting on 43. Yet again, an easy single. With that single, it's Nelson on board. A partnership worth of 63 still to get for India. Khalil's got to whip up some magic right now to ensure that Afghanistan under 19 stay in the game. Such a clean striker of the cricket ball. The ball's gone nowhere inside the 30 yard circle. Still a single stolen. And he's also got a tattoo on his toe. That would have hurt. A quick single. It was needed a good throw from the fielder. Three fours, batting at a strike rate of 66. 66 balls for his 44. Inching closer to a personal milestone, Arshin Kulkarni. Arshan Kulkarni has built his innings on the basis of this this denomination, this single. Throughout the innings we have seen, after losing his partners, he made sure to 
get those runs from one end always busy by taking those singles at the other end it's a youngster Mushir who has got a boundary in the previous over batting on 14 of just 13 balls This, there's been this new ploy of bowling too full for Mashir. So far, Mashir has managed to get the bat down on time. And the Yorkers haven't been pinpoint. Will that change? No real pressure at this stage for uh, India. There's going to be that one over which, in which questions are asked by the bowlers. Khalil's been the pick of the bowlers so far. Another full delivery to India over with at the halfway stage, 113 for 3 India. Afghanistan managed 173 after being asked to bat first. India and reply are 113 for three. Previous ball, ball just keeping low. With a single Arshin inching towards his half century. I love this fight from Eunice. Eunice knows that Moshir is not someone who's was going to shy away from dancing down the track either. He's watching him. He's watching him till the last moment possible. Anything flighted. They send you out of the park. Mushir Khan using the feet. Nicely managed. The way he's getting runs, it reminds me of his elder brother Sarfaraz. Same technique, the way he used to get his runs. Growing high in confidence. Mushir Khan, and one hit away from that personal milestone. Played straight towards the bowler. Very chirpy out there. Every dot ball is being cheered. When things are not going your way, you're trying to create an opportunity, the pressure is on. You tend to vent the pressure by buzzing. And the fielders are a buzz. Back to back dot balls to end the over with 26 gone, 115 for 3. Bangladesh and UAE. They'll be taking on each other tomorrow at the ICC Academy Oval. Oval 1, same ground. That'll be another contest to watch out for. How will Bangladesh fare against the home side? Lot to look forward to.
captain of Afghanistan, Nasir, is being forced to walk Khalil at this stage. He's got to pick up a wicket. Nasir understands that he can't let the let the match slip away from here. It's just one-way traffic at the moment. Tomorrow from ICC Academy Oval 2. It's the Lankan Lions under 19 taking on Japan under 19. Mushir is always looking to convert a single into two. Sometimes it can end up in hallucination. Arshin is so sure. He's so measured in every single that he takes. When you're batting alongside Mushir as a partner, you're a bit nervous and you need to always be ready for that call. Mushir getting excited. Eight teams playing in this tournament. Divided in two groups. The group A encounter India versus Afghanistan chasing 174 in a strong position India. Using the wrist. And now Arshin was looking for that second. Mushi said I'm not interested straight away. That's also because there is no need to take the additional bit of risk at this stage. 57 required in 23.3 overs. Arshan's knocked off 47 from the target. Oh, good ball. And interestingly, Mushir wanted to go for a big shot as well. I think he needs to calm down. Arshan needs to talk to him. Played very close from the body. No connection between bat and ball. So 57 needed. And quickly the partnership. 41 runs between these two, Mushir and Arshin. Now Khalil showing some aggression. A solid defense on the back foot from Mushir. This is turning out to be a spicy contest. Mushir strikes and strikes just enough. He's jogging back for the second. This is good work in the deep. The outfield is usually fast but not on that occasion. The ball plonked itself after it pitched or rather bounced. Pulled nicely towards the deep midwicket region and a couple of runs were taken. So with those two runs a good effort coming in from the fielder, saving few runs and excellent running between the wickets. Now, marching towards the total of 174 with ease, Mushir and Arshin. It's 119 for the loss of three after over number 27. Off late, Yunus has been bowling a lot of dot deliveries and it all goes well for Afghanistan. The keeper is suggesting, why don't you get your volumes up? Suggesting to the fielders. Another good delivery. Yunus has got 
a slider. He's got a good googly. A nation which produces a lot of talented spinners, Afghanistan. Good to see Yunus bowling nicely. Loud appeal. Turned down. It's out of frustration going for that loud appeal. The bowler and the wicket keeper. We talked about good spinners for Afghanistan. I remember seeing Hotak as well. Left term orthodox. Oh, well, is there a single here? No. A single could have ended in sorry. Rightly sent back by Arshin Mushir Khan. Always keen to take those singles. Mushi has decided to play the fearless brand of frigate. Ashwin, the measured one. Two different ways of accumulating runs. Pulled on the back foot. Not in command, but managing a single to end the over number 28. It's 121 for the loss of three. Someone who's new to the squad is Wahidullah Zadran. This will be a very important tournament for him. A decent side of Afghanistan. Firmly pushed on the back foot towards the mid on region. The day one in the same group. They had just sent ground. Nepal posted 152 and it was an easy win for Pakistan. Winning by 7 wickets in hand and go going past the total in 26.2 overs. So commanding victory for Pakistan against Nepal. Taking his own sweet time there, Mushir. To take that single. We'll get that single. And just like that, Arshin sets the tone nicely for the entire tournament for himself. A 50 that's marked by composure and class. But again, what the team required given the situation. A well deserved 50 by Arshin Kulkarni. Managing that 50 with the help of 3 4s and 39 dot deliveries. Out of the 79 balls he faced, it shows the class and caliber. Cut nicely on the back foot. So dealing in singles, these two. And with that single, the partnership worth of 50 between these two, Arshin and Mushir Khan.
Oh, he's got a push for two. It's going to be a single at the end of the day. Good throw. And at the right end as well. 127 for three after 29. This partnership has also reached a 50 mark, 51, and India 127 for three. And how much is how much has Ashin scored? 51. Mudasan makes way for Mikhail in the com box. Welcome. Thank you, Suhas. And uh, just so easily and nonchalantly, Arshan goes about scoring his runs and getting to landmarks. And in the process, he's just about adding so much of assurance and depth to this Indian team. What an innings by him. 3 for 29 with the ball. Unbeaten 52 runs. Mushir has walked in. Shown why it's important to be a busy cricketer in the middle always on the lookout for runs and this partnership has given India a very strong middle order partnership nicely done played that in the gap lot of timing on it and it has enough legs as well to go for a boundary wonderfully executed there by Mushir Khan the margin of error is shrinking Especially while bowling to Mushir. It's important for any team to get off on a good note, get off the mark on a good note and just tells you the importance, just tells you the importance of winning, especially in a tournament of this kind. Oh, this is slapped straight down the ground and despite the dive, it'll have the power to crattle the ropes. Look at that for a shot. That's a shot of a man in form. Plonked his fr front foot and just went through with that follow through of his power behind it was exemplary. Arshin Kulkarni. A natural stroke maker but today it's been a contrasting innings. 30 gone 137 for 3. He's overstepped there, Wahidullah. It's the cardinal sin for a spinner to overstep. And naturally, it's going to be a free hit as well. And what a time for Arshin to take strike as well. Batting above 50, middling the ball well, and he gets a free hit on offer. And I'll tell you what, he'll be looking at nothing less than a six at this stage. The home run at the back of his mind.
just not getting the elevation. It's been a long time, long time since that cricket was thudded into the hands of a fielder. Yeah, that also goes to show how well India has batted. Minimum risk, maximum runs, played to situations, stitched partnerships, kept an eye on the scorecard. Brilliant chase. They've practically, Suha's done it in singles. What this innings of Arshin has done is has given more confidence to the coach as well as to use him according to the situation. Or do you feel Arshin will be a regular feature up top, opening the batting? He's very his efficacy cannot be questioned. Yes, he didn't look troubled at all with the new ball. He warmed up beautifully into the situation, embraced it. Even as other batters were falling around him. His composure on top added a lot of relevance to his position there. There again, single down to long off. What a player to have. First change bowler, opening batter. Wow. The sensation from Solapur. Arshin Kulkarni. Used to ball leg spin, Arshin Kulkarni. And then in one of the games, I think Ajay was the coach at that time. In one of the games, where I think it was Maharashtra taking on Saurashtra, Arshin Kulkarni decided to ball pace flippantly in the nets. And Mr. Ajay said, Hang on, there's something here. Why don't you try it? The rest is history. We've seen so many stories like this in the cricketing folklore. So many. Another single down to long off. Well, Arshan Kulkarni will bring in all the calmness in the carnage, let me tell you. He'll add a touch of class in it as well. Another fine over for India. They're getting closer to 174. 31 gone. It's 142 for 3. Captain Nasir, what do you think would be the biggest takeaway for Afghanistan under 19 from the game that you've seen so far? It's still not over. You've seen miracles happen in cricket. The fact that they batted 50 overs despite having all wickets lost, they still believed in the depth and ensured that they bide time and put a price on their wicket. And secondly, that they've kept India quiet. There have not been many boundaries. They've bowled tidily. It's just that the total hasn't been much. So I feel as an Afghan player, cricket fan, I see a lot of positives for the side. I would say they can take heart in the fact that the spinners have operated brilliantly today. Good running. He's completed the second run. It's not something they can find seldom. Because the fielding has been good. They've been electric on the field. And so the Indian batters as well. They've been up to the task. Challenging the fielder's arms. Always trying to convert that single into a double. Adjusting at the very last second there. Mushir Khan. How well he's blended with Arshin. What a partnership this has been. Talk about depth. Talk about 
a strong middle order well we get to see everything here that's one way of doing it just love the game awareness there by Nasir padding it to the nearest fielder as he saw him approach and in a manner that a run is still not available 69 to 77 this partnership has put India ahead in this run chase miles ahead and quiet singles like these there is a they are proving to be enough at this stage 146 for 3 
Afghanistan were asked to bat first and they scored 173. The Indian reply has been sensational so far. 146 for 3 and 28 required to put up their first win in the ACC Men's Under-19 Asia Cup 2023. Good work by good work there. Jamshid quick to swoop onto that cricket ball and dispatch that as well from the deep. Keeping it down to a single. Good stop. It's important to it's important to keep the pressure on, which at this stage is very very minimal for India start balls like these which might make the batter impatient but today Arshin has been the epitome of patience Twenty six now required. Good work. Bahidullah. Just love that. Just love the fact that Bahidullah, even at this stage, where there's so much pressure on Afghanistan, has delivered an over of this kind. Very tidy indeed. 148 for 3. There's the bowling card as well for Afghanistan. We get a piece to Bashir, Wahidullah, and Khalil. Nasir Yunus and Rahimullah tried their luck, haven't found any success so far. Hundred and forty eight for three, just uh, twenty six more required. Captain Nasser oh, almost goes through the the defense there inside edge back to the pads and he tried to save his wicket with the bat <laughs> not the hand I repeat <laughs> oh yes let's not go there handling the ball happened what two days two days ago Bangladesh playing uh, New Zealand that's punched away towards long gone for a single and uh, happened with one of the most experienced players that Bangladesh have soft singles like these India romping home at this stage. That's been the story so far in the second innings. 150 comes up as well for Team India with that single. That's a short one. Easily punches it away towards the long gone. The narration continues. Just a matter of time as we could see Team India rolling forward in the league stages here. Pakistan already winning the match against uh, Nepal. Happening at the, at the adjacent ground. 
inside the same facility. We are in the buzzing cosmopolis of Dubai as uh, the Under-19 Asia Cup is hosted in uh, the center of all attractions. It's been breezy, it's been hot, it's been all kinds of weather conditions as Nasser balls his last ball of that over. 34 overs gone. It's one fifty-two for three. That's the equation. 22 required. Don't even look at the balling. In fact, the overs remaining column. 96 deliveries to do so. And just walk through the rest of the runs. And play shots like that as well. Bit of a misfield will allow them another one. The countdown has begun. 21 required. just get a feeling at some stage at some stage now that Russian believes that the game is in the pocket will go for the big shot oh well that should have been taken easier said than done because it's burst through his hands and the pain will not mollify because it's a catch put down that was hit really hard and that's going to sting that's for sure why is just uh, wringing his fingers I think there'll be a physio coming in. Yes, there is. What a partnership this has turned out to be. 78 of 92. Quick runs. And uh, Mushir has uh, provided brilliant support to Arshin Kulkarni so far as well. 63 not out of 96. Arshin Kulkarni. Mushir 36 of 43. And we have uh, a bit of a medical emergency. As Mikhail joins me back in the com box. Thank you, Diyush. That was struck so hard it almost pierced through the bowler's hands. Let me tell you, Waidullah, brave enough to get his hands underneath the ball. But that's how Afghanistan played their cricket. They'll put the body on the line to even save a single. That's the commitment they bring. India cruising along 20 and 94, seven wickets in hand. Just a matter of time before they register their first points in the men's under 19 Asia Cup 2023. Goes for a big one. Has he connected? You bet he has. And it's in the gap as well. Mushir this time collects a boundary over deep mid wicket. Found the longest part of the boundary, but he picked his gap well and he picked his spot well. Went down on his knee and picked it up towards the cow corner region. Didn't quite get the distance, but had enough legs to go for a four. 16 needed now. How well has Mushir batted and how well he's blended as well with Arshin. What a partnership this has been. As if they were targeting Mushir in this over. Some shots were fired so far. One uh, hitting the baller himself in the follow through. One going to the boundary. Shy of the stumps overthrows. Slightly sloppy, but you're going to give it away to Team Afghanistan. They're trying their best to pick up a wicket. The later stages of this game. Couple more added to the total. Just like the way India have chased this target, there's been a lot of method in the madness. Constructed and compiled the innings beautifully. Short and wide. Once again, using the pace of the ball. Goes past. Short third and they'll be running away. Will just be pulled back on the ropes. Khalil with the fielding. Another couple of runs here. Not the fastest of the outfields. The ICC Academy Oval. Ground number one. But a uh, couple of easy runs again. Mushir has enforced the issue for Team India today. 44 of 46. 
holding the highest strike rate in that batting unit. Khalil gives it the chase, cuts it down. Tries to find the same gap once again. This time uh, finds the fielder to end uh, the 35th over. 162 for 3, just 12 runs required for Team India to win this match. Well, just a quick reminder, we have another match lined up tomorrow. It's going to be Bangladesh playing their match. And they'll be coming to you from the ICC Academy Oval 1. Taking on the home side, UAE. Bangladesh versus UAE. This will be a good contest, let me tell you. The, remember, there are matches happening in simultaneous uh, venues, adjacent venues over here, simultaneously. Bangladesh versus UAE. And it's going to be Japan versus Sri Lanka as well in the other ground. Back live, India within two big hits. How well he does it. Uh, tucks it away <laughs> towards the third for a single. Just 11 required. Mushir on strike. There was an easy single there. Ashin did not want it. What a partnership. What a chase. They lost a couple of wickets early. India under 19. But the boys have played like men. Great maturity. Great responsibility. Absorbing pressure. And raising their hand in adversity. And doing the job for their side. This time the single is on. Yes, uh, quite a lot of composure shown by Arshin, especially. Three wickets when he came into ball, 64 of 97 deliveries. Had to be very watchful initially and then labored through for his half century. And he's looking to hold his bat till the end. That's, that's the next match that we were talking about that was going to come tomorrow. Sri Lanka taking on Japan. It's going to happen in this very facility, ICC ground oval number two. The third man uh, gap is open and uh, they're leaking singles. It'll be interesting to see how many singles India have accumulated in this chase of theirs. That's been the highlight of this innings of theirs. No panic. They believed in the concept of caution with aggression. They believed in partnerships, believed in rotating the strike. And this is what you want from under-19 boys showing maturity very early in their careers, especially Arshin. That's down the leg side. Nicely worked away. Might come back for the second. No, they're going to settle. They will settle. Man down from Team India. I think it's Mushir who's holding his uh, right foot there. Might have twisted his ankle in the process. We'll have to wait and see. The physio running in. India 166 for 3. They need 8 in 85 deliveries. 7 wickets in hand. It's been a very strong start for them, a commanding performance. Firstly with the ball, winning the toss, putting Afghanistan into bat, and restricting them to 173 for 10 in 50 overs. And then in the chase, after an early blip, they've gathered themselves wonderfully well. 
that man Arshan Kulkarni has been the pivot around which Indian batters have revolved 3 for 29 with the ball unbeaten 65 runs of 98 deliveries day 1 of the ACC men's under 19 Asia Cup we're coming to you live from the ICC Cricket Academy Oval 1 ground here in UAE in the next one week we'll get to see as many as 8 teams battle it out for supremacy in Asia India the defending champions Afghanistan winning it in 2017 out of the 9 editions India have gone on to win 8 times just goes to show their dominance and why they're considered as favorites and contenders each time they come to this part of the world for this tournament and one would say this is a great start to the tournament as well for team India just eight runs away from a victory definitely under their belt that's the partnership shot so far 22 for the first wicket 10 for the second then that uh, uh, partnership uh, between Arshin and the captain of Team India, 44 of 76, which set up the next partnership, which is now worth 90 of 101 quick runs. Thanks uh, to Mushir, who came in and scored 46, not out of 50. And he's the man who's uh, slightly injured while uh, trying to turn back for the second run there. This is the match summary so far as well. Three wickets to Arshin, three to Raj, two to Naman. But uh, the bowling department from Afghanistan did not fire the same way that it fired uh, when uh, they were batting against Team India. Just 8 required of 85 as we are waiting for uh, the players to come back and take their positions. Not many skyscrapers as far as India's innings has been considered. Nevertheless, what they've done is they've built those wonderful structures all through consistently to get that far. And a quick summary of the match that happened at the adjacent ground here at Oval Number 2 where Nepal took on Pakistan. Back live to this match where Khalil has been introduced into the attack. India needs aid and we'll take a look at that scorecard once again. Pakistan prevailing, put up a very strong performance with the bat and with the ball got a glimpse of that match as well Nepal tried to come back pretty well they took three quick wickets but then Pakistan just recuperated well and won it quite comfortably in the end with uh, more than 20 overs to spare just fiddles it bat nerdles it around for a single and the over just six required of the last uh, 14 overs one blow away, Team India, 168 for three after 36. They've come back for the second, in fact. They've come back for the second. Well, what happened there? Uh, everyone caught napping in the middle, particularly the Afghan fielders. An overthrow resulting in an extra run. And this means Arshan will gather two. And uh, India needs six from 84 now. 36 gone, it's 168 for three. One sixty-nine for three. Here's a chance for Mushir to get to his half century as well. He's batting on forty-six not out. Five more required for Team India to win this match. Can he score a boundary? Can he get to a half century and end up on a high as well? Another single down to third. That's how Mushir has played. Sensible cricket. Been the whole story of this run chase. Those singles. 
just could not put a big total on the board of Afghanistan. Otherwise, uh, we could have seen a different matchup altogether. It seemed all too easy in the run chase for Team India so far. Oh, they've done it all day in this chase, the Indian batters. Just nudged it down to third and got to the other end. And they're doing it once again with three runs needed. You'd expect maybe Mushir to go for that glory shot. Has to be. Must be running in his head, that's for sure. They, have, uh, they must have had a word about it as well when uh, the physio came in to treat Mushir. Where are the gaps to find that boundary? Goes towards uh, extra cover. Bit of a misfield. Just one. He's happy taking singles. So he's not really chasing an individual landmark score here. What a partnership. What an innings. What a chase. India within touch and distance of uh, gathering those two points. In the ACC Men's Under-19 Asia Cup 2023. A thorough, complete effort by them. And they look like deserved winners as well. One for the over, signaled by the umpire. Bashir, what a fantastic first spell. Went for runs, but uh, he was always enticing the batters and trying to pick up wickets. That's a slow bouncer. The higher end of his bat, and they'll take a single. Now there's a chance for Mushi to get to his half century and India to get their first victory under the belt moving forward in the tournament. Forty-eight of fifty-two holds the highest strike rate in the whole batting innings of the match. Last ball of this over as well. Can they do it? Wants to take a single set back. <laughs> so we're going to wait for another over. As uh, India still require one more run to win this match. The scores are level at uh, 173 for 3 after 37 overs. So it could be Arshin Kulkarni, quite fittingly, to hit the winning runs. Not yet, it's a dot ball. One in 77, Arshin on strike and in all probability this could be the moment where he'll apply the finishing touch as they'll walk back victorious with a comprehensive and clinical win. Pocketing two points, 6903. He dropped anchor and India placed comfortably. Short delivery almost gets an edge. They have uh, tried out a lot of short deliveries, a lot of varieties as well. In those, uh, some of them uh, slow ones, some of them really fast. Bouncing of good lengths as well. Fast bowlers have really liked hitting the deck hard there could be the winning runs it is 
Arshin Kulkarni does it for uh, Team India with the ball and with the bat as well as uh, they become victorious by seven wickets quite a huge victory moving forward into the tournament as they do it quite clinically in the end against Team Afghanistan here today seven wickets in hand just the 38 over 12 overs to spare professional run chase from Team India it's been uh, singles and doubles and uh, the time that has been spent in the middle eyeing the rest of the tournament everything falling in place for Team India and that run chase 14 for Adarsh as he went out pretty early Barshin was uh, at his peak the first spell of all Rudra Patel what an absolute pitch of a delivery from Khalid to get out Uday scored 20 or 49 as well but Mushir came in the end stitched that uh, humongous partnership close to 100 runs and India chased it down with more than 12 overs to spare we get a piece to Bashir, Wahidullah and Khalid in that bowling card apart from that it's been uh, pretty tough for the ballers to find a wicket 70 extras is something that has to be curbed down from the Afghanistan ballers. Wait, 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 wait. We have to listen to commentary. Now, stop. You don't have to listen to the sound. Now, this is uh, the match summary. Partnership, yeah. In fact, before that, the partnership for you. 22 runs uh, for the first wicket, 10 for the second, 44 for the third, and then the match-winning partnership of 19 and 18 for the first wicket, 10 for the second, 44 for the third, and then the match-winning partnership of 98 of 112 deliveries. Seals the deal for Team India here today. Highlights, 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 Highlights,
साथ अबे चलो यार कितना टाइम देंगे ये प्रेजेंटेशन का प्रेजेंटेशन कि तुम्हारा कितनी देर में रेडी हुआ था तो हमारे में क्या प्रॉब्लम है ये नहीं पता तो हमें नहीं पता पता है पता है पता है तो पता होगा भाई
Thank you for staying on the feed. Uh, this is the Men's Under-19 Asia Cup 2023 from Dubai. Here's the presentation with Mikhail Vaswani. Stan. Well, fair to say India have registered their first points. A complete and clinical effort ensured that they go past Afghanistan in a low-scoring game. Well, put into bat, Afghanistan managed only 173 runs. But an all-round effort by India ensured they make little work of this target and go home with a comfortable seven-wicket win. Well, quite safely to say that India have been favourites in this tournament and they reaffirmed that status once again by putting up a strong show with bat, ball and in the field. Well, just the right time to introduce the presentation party as well. I have with me the match referee of this particular game, Mr. Akhtar Ahmed. Thank you, sir, for joining us. And just the right time to also talk about a few performances before we call upon the player of the match as well. Quite a few from Afghanistan. Jamshid got 43, Yunus got 26. From the India under 19, you had Raj with 3 for 46 with the ball. Raj Limbani, Naman Chaturvedi 2 for 30. Mushir Khan as well got 40 odd runs. But a man who stole the show with a complete all-round effort. 3 for 29 with the ball. Unbeaten 70 runs with the bat, opening the innings. The mainstay, Mr. Dependable. It has to be given to Arshin Kulkarni. Can we ask Arshin to join us for the Player of the Match award? And he'll receive his medallion from Mr. Akhtar Ahmed, the match referee of this particular game. You can come to the centre here, Arshin. Very well played. A round of applause for the young man as well. What a fine effort with bat, ball and in the field. A photo obsession for the cameras and we'll have a quick chat with him as well. Thank you, Mr. Akhtar Ahmed. Arshin, brilliant all-round effort. You must be mighty pleased to start this tournament with a very strong effort with bat and ball. Yeah, it was good uh, to start a tournament like this. Uh, it helped me a lot to gain confidence. Right, You're naturally a big hitter, they say, in the Mumbai cricketing, Maharashtra cricketing circles. How difficult was it to curb your natural instincts and change your role in this particular game? I just thought that what was needed for the team at that moment and that was my aim. Right, uh, you bowled here, you batted as well, you had a good measure of the pitch. Which was more difficult, a bowling over here or batting over here? Uh, batting, I would say batting is more difficult because of the bounce and the help to the pace bowlers, which caused it to be more difficult. Were you sent in with the message, stay there, put a price on your wicket because you were only relying on singles for most part of the game? Yeah, uh, that was helping me a lot because uh, the opposite captain also had set the field so that I could take singles and make my inning long easily. That was my plan. Right, Arshin, you've impressed us all with your all-round effort. Keep up the good work and all the very best for the rest of the competition as well. Thank you. Right, player of the match of this game between India and Afghanistan, Arshin Kulkarni, 3 for 29 and 70 unbeaten runs with the bat as well. Just the right time to have a chat with both the captains. I'd like to firstly call upon the captain who came second, Nasir Khan of Afghanistan. If you could come for a quick chat. Nasir, and I would like to also invite its manager, Nasir. Tough luck. You tried hard, but 173 was less. Bismillah Rahman Rahim Wakiachi Sarki Sadol Vekatwa Bia second Deer Park you Sarki Pasbalaron the Dear Zat support to Amdas spinners the second innings the Chamanka Ralu no Agas Shenaki the Lakasara comes to Sarki Wakiat Mangalakano Deer Ho effort Uko Inshallah Das Mangawal game within a Vinshala Nurum Batirki. It was unfortunate to lose the toss uh, early morning and uh, it was supporting the bowlers. So uh, the second innings, uh, it was a lot uh, better for batters to play, and uh, uh, it was uh, certainly not enough total on the board to, to depend. And uh, the boys uh, try their best, and uh, uh, inshallah, in the next matches, uh, we will try our best to play our best cricket. One last question: What is the one big positive you'll take out of this game? I know you've not ended up on the winning note, but some positives that you would like to take. کمی مثبت نقطه باید داده که میچ نتر لاسه که میچ من اگر تو خو کم دستی مثبت شاید نوشیت اسو به لاست انتر آورد. واقعیت دیر سه مثبت تر لاسه کرد لکام داشی اول اینگس که دیر زیاد سپورت نو تا سوال سر که دیر زیاد مهم رول داده که زکا پس بالر سپینر دوار تا سپورت و سر که ویکر لگ لندام و انشالله من با کوشش که چه راد نی که بس دین های فرق. Uh, he's uh, mentioned about the toss. Uh, it was unfortunate to lose the toss, and uh, we took a lot of positive from this uh, um, uh, match. Uh, the boys played well, and they were uh, especially uh, spinners. They bowled well. They bowled wicket to, to wicket, but there was, wasn't anything on the pitch to 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 get uh, uh, advantage. 
Right, tough luck, but you all played very well. I'm sure you'll do very good for yourself in the tournament. So all the very best in the coming games. Inshallah, thank you. Well, captain of the Afghanistan side, Nasir Khan, they're coming second. Just the right time to call the winning captain, Uday Saharan, as well for a quick chat. We'll get his perspective. They've registered the first points. Congratulations, Uday. Badi khushi hogi. Shuruwa to badi achi gayi hai. Jo smile ab dikhai de rahe ho, pata pad raha hai ki camp mein bhi mood bahut acha hai. Actually, it's a very good mood, as our players have shown us, it's very better. They had to stop at 173, it was a very good bowling time. And what Arshin did, fantastic. I think that he has given the show in the truth today. Right, as he's pointed out that everybody has put up a very fine show, extremely delighted and he's also very high in praise for Arshan Kulkarni who walked away with the player of the match. Look, what your strategy has shown you, you were very relying on short deliveries, your paces. You saw something in the pitch, you changed your strategy, because you were full length, good length, you were watching the back of the length deliveries. Did you plan something and go? Actually, we were watching the wicket, the bounce was very big and hard too. And the wicket and square boundaries were a little bit long, so we were trying to do that only. Right, so they were the particular strategy that you all went in with and you all made full use of the conditions. Look, one thing we want to tell you, your team's strength has shown us an all-round effort. Bowling, maybe, spinners, pacers. And one thing we want to ask you, what will you take a maximum positive from this match? Actually, everything was positive. I think that it's not a big deal to take a big deal. Everyone, and what they were doing with intent, they were taking responsibility on their own. That was the best. राइट देखिए बहुत बहुत बढ़िया खेली आपकी और आपकी टीम शुरुआत बहुत अच्छी रही है इंडिया इज़ ऑलवेज कंसीडर एस फेवरेट्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टूर्नामेंट वी होप यू कंटिन्यू द गुड वर्क Thank you, thank you. Right, captain of the Indian team, Uday Sahar, and as he mentioned that there's been a lot of positives from this game and they'll want to keep up with that momentum. We have a lot of cricket lined up in the coming week and we'll join you tomorrow once again for a couple of matches in both the grounds. That's it from the presentation party. It's back to the commentators. So it was Arshin Kulkarni, quite fittingly, getting the player of the match award. This is the game coming up tomorrow. It's Bangladesh taking on UAE at uh, the same ground that we watched the game between India and Afghanistan. It's uh, coming in live at 9.30 a.m. Dubai Standard Time. And after that, at uh, the oval ground number two, it's Sri Lanka taking on Japan as well. Exactly the same time. Thank you for joining in for this feed. We'll see you tomorrow once again. Bye-bye.